Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Running late, just got in. It has been manic. I think that's the fastest I've ever started a stream up. You, you have to bear with me. I had to dash out. I saw the uh, the timer stops at three seconds. That's because I closed the uh, snazzy down and I forgot to go and get my actual coffee, which is just looking terrible. It's the worst coffee. In the, I don't even know what that is. And Vader, if you could see this, mate. If you could see this coffee, it is shocking. It, I don't know, it, it looks, I don't know, it looks like tea to me. <laughs> this is where I find out I picked up the girlfriend's cup of tea on Vader. Right, where were we? Where were we? Where were we? Oh, it's a little woof woof look. Now, apparently Zara's been out shooting all the, all the, all the woofies. Oh, oh, he's, oh, he's not happy. Run away. Run away, he's going to shoot me in the back. I don't even know where I am. In fact, actually, that's really... Oh, hang on. We're in, um... We're in Valentine, aren't we? can't remember why we came back here. I think we were checking out the sheriff, weren't we? Or bounties and the white Good, Good morning, all. Good morning, Advina. I see you're uh, busy with all your subbed hello emotes there. Good morning, Smethnol. There is no pew pew. Good morning, Persuade. How are you, sir? As things... I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to jibber-jabber yesterday, mate. I managed to get about 10 minutes on Discord, uh... It was um, the Diablo sort of BlizzCon shenanigans, wasn't it? Oh, You're uh, a brave girl. I, 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 I'm going to be honest, I hardly even watched it. I, I don't even know what the big reveal was in the end. Is, isn't it like just the Diablo 3 something else edition? Blah, blah, blah. We already own it. And now it's coming to Nintendo Switch, which we already knew anyway. Um... The only, the only big announcement was Diablo Immortal, wasn't it? Which is a mobile game, which, you know, will, will never see the light of day for me, sort of thing. So, I don't know if anything else was announced later on. But, uh, I'd, like I said, I've literally... I mean, what time is it? 8.09. I think I've been back in the house for about 14 minutes. Um, I feel gross as well because I've not had a shower yet. Oh, stinky McLurky grimy bear. Uh, what are we doing? We came back to speak to the sheriff, so that's kind of done. So let's go and have a look at... Where should we go? I think we had two missions. We were... Ah, well, I know what we were going to do. We were going to go and try and get this um, legendary fish, weren't we? Ooh, let's go and do it. <clears throat> I didn't get any money for the last one. That feller's been out in the sun too long. I got the confirmation of receipt that it had, uh, it had arrived at the, the taxidermist fellow or wherever he is. About time we went on tear. Let's hey, move out. You there. I, I wouldn't mind. Not, I tell you what, a nice slice of toast with Marmite would be uh, spot on, mate. Absolutely spot on. This is a tassie, mate. This is a tassie, mate. It, it looks disgusting. I think my Tasmo is just not, not working. I think sometimes it, it it just makes a random cup of something. <clears throat> it's all frothy. It's supposed to be an Americano. I don't, I've never seen so much froth on a, an Americano. Very strange. Very strange. You know, I, I've been drinking a snake oil. <clears throat> I'll, I'll let you. I'll have a chin with you about it later, this one. Right, let's get uh, let's get to the bank. To the bank, my dear. To the bank. Oh, not to the bank. To the Morning, river Mr. bank. I mean, not to the not to the actual bank. Yeah, well, I, I mean, ooh, that's nice music kicking in. It's lovely. Yeah, the Diablo, uh, well, BlizzCon all together. I, I saw a bit of lyric. I, I, again, I was, I was kind of like so busy. I don't actually know half the stuff that I was watching yesterday because it was kind of like on my phone and it was on the, on in the, in the background and I couldn't really focus on it. But lyric was playing the, I don't know what they're called. I, I call it WoW Legacy, but I, I know that's not the actual name of it. You know, the early WoW days. So. Uh, it was ever so strange seeing it like that. I, I missed the original WoW, but at the same time, I also... I kind of know that if, if I was to play vanilla WoW, I'd just be thinking, why am I bothering? Why don't I just go and play just normal WoW? You know, WoW's come a long way, and WoW's come a long way for reasons, right? 
If I want to go and play an MMO, I'm not, I'm not going to go back and play something like... It's like going back and playing Ultima Online. You know, it would be great for a few months. At, at best. And, and then I'd be thinking, yeah, you know, it's... Uh, best left in the box of gaming nostalgia, you know? Things have come a long way since then, haven't they? Still no Prime Command. We've never had a Prime Command. No one asked me to do a Prime Command. <laughs> what am I... I'll tell you what, if you send me uh, what I'm supposed to put, then you, you, you send it through on Discord, and I'll make sure that's done for you and you alone. Let me make a note. I've got, I've got notes all over the place. I keep turning the page so nothing ever gets done. Prime command, yeah. I'd say it's a bit late now, Advina. We've been streaming for about two years since we've been back, my dear. You prime subs require extra attention. Why would you get? You wouldn't get anything for a prime subs, man. Oh, I, I think I think you might be misinterpreting that, mate. I think the prime command is just uh, a link telling you how to use your prime command, which you shouldn't need because there should be something that pops up on the on the video, Advina. That's sort of like the whole point. There should be a pop-up actually on the video that's if you're a Prime member that says, "Hey, I'll come and use your Prime sub." Smet Smet and I want special privileges. I'd be in a lot. He wants a naked dance, and uh, well, I don't know what he wants a tickle of, but I can't I can't see you getting that, Smet. Hmm. Mm. That is the worst cup of coffee in the world. I think I'm going to throw my Tassimo in the bin. I think if I'd taken a, a two-day-old tea bag and sprinkled coffee granules on it, like, like bog-standard mellow birds, I'd have got a better cup of coffee out of this thing. That is awful. I wouldn't even know what, what, to, what to put there, uh, Advina. Honestly, I, I wouldn't even know what to, what to have as the prime command, mate. Uh, you just finished the last VOD, sending you a nice package of Jack Links. Little cute Jack Links. Ooh, what, what are they, did? I, uh... Ooh, is that dude? Oh, that dude's padding for gold, look. Oh, let's go and have a look. This horse is fast asleep, look. All knackered, all dead. <laughs> <laughs> is he padding for gold? Let's go and have a look. Good morning, Nina. Have a lovely day. <clears throat> All right. I see you. Which you ain't looking for gold here, is you? Cause uh, I called it. <laughs> uh huh. I said I called this spot, partner. Oh, Go whoa. on, get yeah. out, will yeah. you? All right. Sorry. He got. He, he actually threw his uh his pan down then, didn't he? Like all forcibly. He went. Oh, check the horse out with all the uh, shovels on it. All. That's really cool. What you doing? What are you doing, Arthur? I wonder if he's actually ever found any gold here. Can we, can we do a bit of panning or not? Shit, bit of zinc. Oh, he's getting stuff, don't he? I should wait in the bush and see if he gets anything. Don't you hide from me now. Get out. The Milkman! Thank you for the two months, uh, thank you for the two months, uh, thank you for the Twitch Prime two months, sub. Uh. How you doing, Milkman? Thank you very much, sir. You're right, Mega Greg. Good morning, sir. How you doing, sir? I'll I give you a belly rub. I'll give you a little, a little tickle in the belly button, mate. I'll pick that fluff out for you, smart and all. Do you like to see if this dude actually gets any gold? Oh, no. Damn line pilot, dirty round waste of my time. Never know, you never know. You might find a giant ass nugget. We drink my coffee, we'll just give him a second. Got a bit of zinc. Be interesting if uh gonna good carry on. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? Zod, did you um? I've got banging headache. Did you uh? Did you catch any more? So he knows I'm here. Did you get any more info out of Diablo yesterday, bro? I I, I had to stop watching. 
Did you manage to see if there was anything uh, revealed, or was it exactly as we kind of left it? Almost felt sorry for the dudes on stage. Did you hear? Did you hear about the big hoo ha? Uh, when, when the crowd kind of all reacted to it all negatively, I thought I thought that was ever so strange. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Milkman. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the two month sub, bro. What's this? Uh, how you boo Barla? Who the hell's boo Barla? Good morning, Sadie. How are you doing, sir? Do you have a do you have a bit of a hairy bear, belly button, dear Smirnoff? I, I should imagine you've got a beast of a button, right? Only reveal was the Diablo mobile game, Diablo Immortal. The demon stage looked like it was about to cry. Oh, I know. Did you did you see what happened when um uh, there was a, they did like a oh it's so funny go go check it out. It's been all over social media, so it shouldn't be hard to track down. They did like a Q and A, and they'd got Cheng and I can't remember the other dude's name up there on the stage. I think there's someone else, and they were taking the microphone around, <coughs> excuse me microphone around the crowd, and one of the guys stood up. And he goes, so, something along the lines of, so is this just simply an out-of-season April Fool's joke, for real? And, uh, oh, Jesus, the, the look on their faces when he said it. And, and like, obviously the crowd just, just erupted in laughter. And um, somebody then asked something along the lines of, so can you confirm this definitely is mobile only? So there's not going to be any crossover to <coughs> current gen consoles or PC. You know, is it is it mobile exclusively? And they all started saying yes. Um, you know, uh, you know uh, how they do in PR talk. In other words, they're not saying we've not ruled it out. They're just saying no for the foreseeable future. You know, our, our commitment is to produce a really good, you know, online mobile game. Blah 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 blah. And the crowd literally kind of. There was booze and sighs. And they actually turned around, didn't they? One of the guys on the stage turned around and says, what, don't you own a mobile phone? Or, or something like that. And it and it sounded quite hostile. It, it came across as sort of like, what, are you all stupid? And, and that's been doing the rounds on social media as well. I've never seen Blizzard get it so wrong. Um, I've got nothing against the mobile Blizzard Diablo guy. That, that's, that's, you know, if it's going to make them money... Um, fine. You, you know, it, it doesn't look like they're even making it, though. I, I think it's been outsourced to another mobile development company that essentially already make a Diablo clone. <clears throat> so it looks like Blizzard says, well, look, you're making a clone, so why don't you just, you know, make an actual Diablo game and we'll take all the money from it and, and we'll just pay you to make it kind of thing. Um, it, it's just doing it at BlizzCon. It, it's doing it where they did it. That, you know, that that is something that you don't do. Um, BlizzCon is very PC-centric. A lot of people in that crowd are heavily into the Diablo franchise. And the Diablo franchise has always been seen primarily first as a PC game, hasn't it? So, I've got no issues with them trying to make money and making a mobile game. And I hope lots and lots of people play it and really enjoy it. And it sounds like it's going to tie in some of the story elements really, really well for those people that bother to play it. Uh, and I'm sure there will be literally millions, if not billions, of people playing it. So that's not the issue. It's just the way they chose to do it as, as if it was a big super duper reveal within the Diablo community at BlizzCon. It, it, it should have been it should have been something that was kind of just, you know, dropped in there on, on top of another announcement. You know, if you've got nothing to say, which they didn't seem to have a lot to say, they should have just cancelled fucking BlizzCon this year, quite frankly. Um, we know Diablo 4 was being made. You'd have to be insane after all the leaks um, for, for job openings and all the rest of it. <clears throat> we know Diablo 4 is there and being produced. And they're just not ready to announce it yet. You know, they're, they're clearly very much either in pre-production or, or things they still need to wind out before, before they give us a snippet of uh, what it's going to look like aesthetically, I guess. So, the mobile thing would, would have been fine if it was just released somewhere else or, you know, another part of BlizzCon. But, but it was kind of like, you know, you know that, that early hype. They've got something really exciting. Rah, 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 rah. Mobile game. Oh, what, what were they expecting? Were they honest? Are they that far up their own arses that they actually think that the Diablo community are going to applaud that? Of course they're not. Very, very bad decision by them. 
Um, but they, they would have burnt a lot of bridges there. Um, you, you know, no matter how... It, it's the same thing I've been saying for a long time about... Uh, Bethesda, yeah. isn't it? And, and sort of resting on their laurels and almost getting a little bit too big for their boots kind of sometimes. And it looks like Blizzard themselves have now overstepped the mark a little bit. Def definitely some sour faces coming out of it. Boob Bala. Boob Bala. Boob Bala. I think if someone called me Boob Bala, there'd probably be a fight. <laughs> Where does that even come from? <laughs> Uh, Manimal is mean, he chucks his belly button to fluff at you because you scr Ah, he flicks his belly button fluff at you. Ah, oh, that's, that's minging. <laughs> uh, their live chat was nothing but F for Diablo resting. Yeah, I mean, obviously there's a lot of people that will be uh, doom and gloom in it. The simple fact of the matter, it makes no difference. Um, all they've done is just upset the community. It'll make no difference to, to Blizzard. Blizzard are still going to make millions out of that mobile game. You, you know, j just because it might not be... And, and to, to be honest, this is kind of a silly thing, actually. It's not meant to appeal, necessarily, to the big PC gamers. It, it's there to hit a new crowd, a new breed of gamer, a new youthful gamer that only knows mobile gaming and only cares about mobile gaming. And, and Blizzard are going to reek the rewards. Diablo, getting it out in that sort of platform, if they do it right, it, it's, it's an endless cash machine. So anybody that thinks that Blizzard have cut their own throat or anything like that is living in cookie land. All they've done is pissed off the PC community um, by announcing it at BlizzCon. <laughs> if they'd announced it next week... Uh, outside of Blizzcon, no, no one would have given a flying toss. It, it, it's just that people were expecting something, you know, exciting. Um, you know, people were, you know, I mean, people that were expecting a Diablo 2 remaster, I, th I think they're living in cookie land, to be quite honest. Uh, I, I don't know why people keep talking about that. Um, Diablo 4, we know it's happening, they're just not ready to show it. Uh, well, like, you know, they shouldn't, they should just not have had a Diablo segment at BlizzCon. Or if they had, they should have just kept it short and sweet. Back end of it, oh, by the way, blah, 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 blah. You know, that, that stuff doesn't need a big panel announcement at the reveal uh, opening ceremony. It really doesn't. It was just really bad calculation on Blizzard's part. Um, but yeah, I mean, they, they are going to make millions. Billions. I mean, that, that, that is just going to sweep the mobile market like, like nothing else. I hear you packed your uh, case as well, sir. You're, uh, you're all set and ready, are you? Right, so, map. Somewhere around here is something. And I've got no idea what. Um, let's go into our satchel. Let's go and have a look at our documents. And I think it's under an assortment of maps. Do you, uh, have you played much of this then, uh, Mr. Zeranthian? Uh, it's not, mm, uh, oh, it's not treasure maps. It's just maps, isn't it? A collection of maps. Really wish all the cigarette cards were in their own section. Uh, da, 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 da. legendary fish map. So what is it we're actually after here? Number two, which is the red fin. Or is it or is it that one up there? Must be that one, right? Is it that one? Or is it that one down there? That must be that one up there. Uh so it's number six, which is a chain pickerel. <clears throat> Let me just check my map. Uh, chain pickerel, chain pickerel. I think that I think that's right, isn't it? It must be. And it's a river lure. So items, fishing rod. So we got the special fishing lure, don't we? Special lake, special river. There we go. Yeah, let's try something new. Good morning, blow up. How you doing, mate? So he's packing the suitcase then, said. Is she sharing a suitcase? You're going to drop off all your bits and bobs with her and she's going to pack the main one, is she? Exactly, Mega Greg. It, it, it was the place that they chose to announce it. It, it. 
That that was never, no matter what they thought, okay. no matter how much faith they've got in there. What the hell was that? Yeah, no matter how, how, how much faith they've Here got in go. their own products, doing something like that at BlizzCon, they, they were living in cookie land, didn't they? Oh, I think I had that then. I buffed it. What were your uh, first impressions then, Zara, outside of uh, your, your murderous ways? I think it got off. I'm pretty sure that was no god. Oh, no, there's still a fish on it. Oh, I'm guessing that is a, uh, yes. is that a pick -a <laughs> Oh my god, I got it on the first throw. I got it on the first one. Legendary chain pickerel. Holy balls. Four kilos. Train for size pickerel can be up to 30 inches and large specimens live in the Decatur River. They favor a special river of yours. That's, that's the one, right? That's definitely it, yeah? Look at that beauty. Four kilo pickerel. I'm gonna keep you, my little dearie. Uh, what else can we fish? Let's just go for a. Well, let's go with it. Let's let's stick with it. Let's just try one more cast with um. Let's see if we can get some fish for the. That's awesome. First cast, we got it. And in fact, I actually, I actually lost one to start with, so I don't know whether or not we uh, pick the second one up or not. Pickerel. We'll have to pickerel. <laughs> Some of your stuff is going to be left by the wayside, you reckon, Serdy? I if you can still... I mean, we know we can still catch, catch things with the special because we were catching all sorts of crap yesterday outside of the bluegill, weren't we? I think a pickerel is a pike, isn't it? I'm not getting anything biting on that. Damn, that's a lot of fish over there, look. Let's see if anything's biting. Give it, I'll give it a jerk. No, just nothing, nothing's uh, interested in my... No, nothing, um... Yeah, well, let me just switch out to the river lure. See if that makes any difference. You may play more than an hour of poker last night with Pierce and Uncle and Lenny. They got stripped of the game. It was it reasonably profitable, uh, Plower? Did you make Come a fair on. old chunk of cash? How are you getting on with the Xbox One X, dude? Nothing biting, dude. What the hell? This is this is just shocking, sir. Yeah, nothing, mate. Absolutely nothing. First cast, I got a bloody legendary. Uh, whatever the hell it was. Now I'm getting nothing. Look at these uh, deer coming across here. Look. Oh, this is ridiculous. I've never I've never seen fish not bite so much. Why, why do you think they're not having any of it? Okay. Wrong time of day, perhaps? Don't see the insects on the water, look. 
Probably going a little bit slower with the... Uh... I've, I've never known the fish not buy it. You got three dollars out of it. <laughs> oh dear, mate. The things people love doing in games, right? Like fishing and catching fuck all. Maybe I should go faster. Maybe I need to go faster with the pipe. I'm I'm actually getting a, a little bit mad now. I've, I've never fished and not caught anything. What what why is this happening? Why why are we not getting anything? This literally makes no sense. Normally we're yanking bloody fish out left, right and centre. There's got there's gotta be something wrong. Like that terrible casting of the line. I feel, I feel like lobbing a stick of dynamite in if they don't sort their shit out. That's just freaking bad. I'm, honestly, I'm getting, I'm getting tense. I can feel my blood pressure rising. What was that? Gotta be time of day, right? I feel like I can't leave without getting at least one though, just just to prove it's not broken. There's nothing on. Am I, am I definitely got the right lure on? River lure, right? Attracts all medium and large sized river fish. That doesn't catch one now, I just don't know what to say. I really don't. Good morning, Knife. How you doing, sir? How's things, bro? Any archery on this weekend? See, you learnt something today, didn't you? Oh my god! This is why I don't fish. I, I, right, right now I'd be stuck. I'd be saying, "Fuck this! Let's go to the pub." What an absolutely ridiculous sport! It's not even a sport. It's just, it's just stupid. <laughs> the special river lure is for the legendaries. You have the river lure, the lake lure, and then you have like specialist equivalents. Oh my god, I swear this is driving me potty. It's taking the piss. It's taking the, it's literally taking the piss, lads. It is literally taking the piss. Maybe go to where the fish are. What, you mean this giant fucking river? I don't get it. Why are we not getting any fish? There has to be some up breaking here. There has to be.
I can see the fish, Mega Greg. The, fi the fish are... There's fucking hundreds of the bastards, look. They're everywhere, mate. Literally hundreds of the buggers. You can see them on the surface, look, like when they, when they surface up, all, all the bubbles on the water. There's like literally hundreds of them. Millions. But I just can't, I just can't get a single one to buy it. I've already got the legendary one. I got, I got oh, it my very first there. cast. There we go. That's it. After that, we're leaving. I just, I just wanted to freaking make sure there wasn't something bloody broken. Yeah, we, we got it very first cast. In fact, it, I lost it on the line. I, uh, I snapped the line to uh, early persuade and sort of, but, but left, left the lure in the water. And carried on with it and picked up the legendary. But one one cast, You're first nibble I lost, off. second nibble I caught the legendary. That is ridiculous. Sorry. That is ridiculous. That You're is mad. way too much like real world fishing. Screw that for a game of soldiers. Literally, I can't even. I mean, if it was real world, at least I'd have a bottle of whiskey and a campfire going. Absolutely no chance of my doing fishing again, bro. Or at least not there anyway. That we had a really good fishing spot down near the. Um, near the camp yesterday didn't we we were pulling out what was it a uh, bass two kilo bass like nearly every single cast i mean it was uh look at this here this must be something to do with um panning yeah. i reckon easy yeah that must be some sort of <laughs> actually looks like there was a little a little town or something here look wow Jeez, we've got to check this out guys because what's that up there as well it's like a spooky door. Let's see if we can um might try a locker breaker on that maybe. Sit out up there. It looks like a proper metal door, like get on a prison or a vault or something. Let's see if there's any loose floorboards. Exactly persuaded. It'd be like sod this, lads. We've not caught anything for an hour and a half. Like, you know, the fish ain't biting, sod this. Down to the local uh, Welsh pub. To see uh Daphne. Daphne, you know, nice uh, bangers and mash and a pint of stout. Ooh, lovely jabbly. Go and play with a sheep later on in the evening. That's what it's all about. No, they stand standing there, dicking and nothing biting. Jesus balls. Got better things to do. You could go and shoot things in the face, for God's sake. You know what I mean? Or, or in Zar's case, dogs, because Zar's a bit strange. I think we should. Uh, I think we should balance the world out and go murder cats. I wonder if we can uh, lasso cats and drag them behind the horse, like hundreds of them, like a, a cat of nine tails. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Imagine that, just like a a flotilla. I don't know what you call a gaggle of cats. A flotilla of cats all bouncing around, just like all just getting smashed to pieces behind the horse. I quite. I think that'd be quite cool. That. But balance it out from Zars murderous dog killing rampages. We can, we, we'd be called the Catman. It would be like a superhero in the Wild West. Just, oh no, here comes the Catman. Do, 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 do. Cats just everywhere. We can have a cat hat and a cat holster. We can have some cat spurs. Ooh, I like the sound of this, mate. A pride of pussies. You've got it, mate. Yeah, we can, we can be called the Pussy Master. <laughs> oh no, here comes the Pussy Master. <laughs> I need more coffee. Jesus Christ, it's too early for you lot. We need, we need a theme tune as well. We'll go with a Pink Panther tune. Yeah, I like this. We're getting, we're getting, I'll tell you what, we've got a plan here, Persuade. You and I, I'll tell you what, mate. We should be paid more. <laughs> What's in here then? Let's have a look. Ooh! Hey, what, who's that? Ooh. Oh, zombie. Do not, I swear to God, do not move. I'm in a really funny position. I'll fall out of my chair, mate. Well, that's not good. Looks like he was just left in here to rot. Oh, my God. They just starved to death. Look, that's awful. Oh, man. Oh, no, that's awful. What a horrible way to go. Jeez. It's terrible, bros. It's awful. All they probably did was shoot a dog. It's probably Zar in there. Asking for a cup of soup or some poor fella. Was there even a movie called Catwoman? 
What, was there an actual standalone movie Catwoman? And I remember Michelle, was it Michelle Pfeiffer? She played Catwoman, didn't she? But I wasn't that in a Batman film. Oh, what's this here? Can we get down there? Ooh. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously disappointed there's no treasure down here for me to pick up. Oh, Rockstar. Oh, Rockstar. Disappointing, my good friends. Disappointing. You are right, virulent? How you doing, bro? A clutter, a clutter, a cloud of clutter. Oh, what, is that for real? Why have they got, why are cats so special? They've got three different names for collective nouns. A cloud of cats. I thought a cloud was like some sort of like, I don't know, like shellfish soup or something. Or was that chowder? I don't know. Well, obviously someone opened the doors afterwards, oh, so that they could loot their dead corpses of whatever minuscule jewellery they had. God, think it through, dude. Jesus. Man, ruining my immersion, bro. Drew Berry played Catwoman. Drew, I don't know who Drew Berry is, mate. I know Hal Berry. I never understood the fascination with Hal Berry. She she looks just 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 thin. She's just like thin. There's like nothing to the woman. I, I don't understand why. I mean, she was like a she was a Bond girl. But of all the Bond girls I can think of, like Hal Berry would be pretty much bottom of the list to be quite honest. She was just just a stick. There was, there was kind of nothing about her really. I never understood the fascination with her. I mean, I'm not saying she's not attractive. I mean, she's a beautiful lady, but uh, looks like, it looks like she'd, um, she needs a good meal inside. That's what she needs. She needs to come out with grump for some uh, some chicken nuggets. I'll sort Al Berry out. Put a bit of pudding on her. That's what she needs. No one needs to be that thin. Did Al Berry play Catwoman? No way, did she? I didn't know that. <laughs> did she really? So Drew Berry and Hal Berry both played Catwoman. Whoa, conspiracy! Right, let's uh, head back to camp. Hal Berry. Mm. Right, okay, so we want to go... Cool. Yeah, that, that'll do us. So if we... Lock in our gps -o meter. <laughs> you right, QB? How you doing, broski? How's things? What have you been playing, QB? Not a chance to catch me. Up to uh, up to anything new, or how's it going with the playthrough of this with you, lad? How's things for you, Smed? Daphne with a nice bangers and mash, exactly. Good wholesome Welsh lassie she was, uh, old Daphne. Pussy galore, pussy galore. She's one of our yangs. Yeah, you're a bit old, didn't you, Sadie? Pussy galore. Who was that? Who was that? Oh, God. What was her name? Uh, really, really big... Bl uh, I was going to say blonde. She, she was... Um, actually, I think she did have uh, blonde hair in it, actually. Uh, what was what was the name of the... Um... Oh, God. Who am I thinking of? I, th I think she was a catwalk model, wasn't she? Uh, a a one of the much older Bond girls. Um... Huge lassie, huge lassie. God, who am I thinking of? Ah, oh, Jesus. Who was the dude that played Jaws? Remember Jaws? I think I think that's the character's name. Uh, he had like um, braces, like old metal teeth or something, didn't he? Do you remember that dude? Whatever happened to him? He was he was a beast. He was man. He was awesome. I think he was in the in the one with. Uh, it was the one when they went into space, wasn't it? In fact, I think Jaws was in a couple of them, wasn't he? I remember him getting electrocuted once. Didn't uh, Bond, like, shove a power cable in his mouth? And I seem to remember he went into to space as well. I seem to remember something. What, what, was the, what was the dude's name? What was the Bond's name back then? It would have had Jaws in it. Someone more. Roger Moore, I think, wasn't it? Urs, Ursula Andre. Andres, was that the dude? 
you imagine what? Drew Barrymore images dancing in your head as always typing Halley. <laughs> uh, you got a few days and some days, then mixing it up with some early alphas. Uh, you said, I really enjoyed it. Good. Pleased to wear it, mate. Pleased to wear it. I, I should imagine this will be uh, a playthrough you'll never forget, QB, with your lad, mate. Yeah, did you see the the new tweets, the new medicinal and yeah. textures that Joel popped out under the old uh, Twitter QB? Actually, looks quite interesting. I, I was less interested in the actual medicinal props themselves, and more interested in the the textures on the backdrop. To be honest, it looks like well, it actually looks like they've got some really good textures. But like I've said, I, I've not been particularly judgmental. On the negative side that a lot of people have been, I'm also not going to switch, you know, yeah. and, and praise things until I see them. So at the minute, it's like, yeah, cool. You know, at least that was an interesting tweet as opposed to some crappy skills that we saw. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's actually looking like there might be some... Uh, some changes to the core game in terms of actually getting it to look... Uh, look quite snazzy, to be honest. All we gotta do is um, performance, isn't it? The, the, the more the, the more pretty the game gets, the more I worry about performance. But um, let, let's hope with the you know the switch over to the new Unity engine. But uh, you know we'll, we'll get the best of both ends. We'll, we'll get a better looking game and we'll get better performance. I mean, we can but hope, right? Oh, the Bond girl I'm thinking of is Ursula Andres. Andres. I don't know, is that, I, I can't. I, the, the name's not ringing a bell. It's not ringing a bell. But yeah, cool. If that's her, yeah. Moonraker. That was it, said. Moonraker. That was Roger Moore, right? Who was the very first Bond? Wasn't there someone called. Um, it began with an L. I'm, nice I'm not sure night. if I've ever even seen one of those films from, from beginning to end. Uh. Lazlby, La Laz someone. Uh, obviously, you've got Roger Moore, you got Sean Connery. Uh, is it Daniel Craig? Is the current Is it Daniel Craig? Come on. Uh, who else have we had? George, was it George Lazenby or Lazenby or something like that? Oh, shit. Oh, we've got a problem. We've got a problem. Hey, you were more in Raiders, ain't you? May well be. Move on through, boy. Right, boom. Right, what just happened? Oh. You done that? I'm pretty sure I shot it for you. Damn it all. Guess they got what was coming to them. Oh, that all went a bit wrong there, lads. I don't, I don't know what I thought I was doing. Holy balls, it's too... Oh, my God, I need to set my headset down as well. Wow, that just went horribly wrong. Um, Good job we've had a warm-up fight, man. Uh, I'll see what I do want. I want a cigarette. Give me a nice cigarette, mate. Sell so cigarettes and premium cigarettes do the same. That's, that's a bit crap. What's that all about, then? <laughs> this this dude would not be able to afford to smoke in this day and age. He, he literally sparks one up, takes one take, and chucks it on the floor. <laughs> that is something else. That is even solid snake wouldn't do that, mate. Um. <laughs> Sorry, uh, sorry, Bojangles. Calm you down a little bit, girl. George Lazenby, that was it. Good morning, Simpsy. How are you doing? Good morning, TM. Good morning, KWD. Ursula, Ursula Andres. Um, so hang on, who was so, so Sean Connery was the first Bond? Oh my God, I forgot about Timothy Dalton. Timothy Dalton and Pierce Brosnan. Yeah, 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 yeah. God damn, I had actually forgotten all about them. Mind your own business, fools. Did you have a nice, uh, a nice evening in the end, Simpsy? Oh, you, you had me in stitches yesterday, mate. How's your makeup this morning? 
Oh, dear. Any news if this game's coming to PC? You've got no chance, have I? It'll come, but it'll be a long way away, mate. I, I should imagine you won't even get a sniff of it for the first uh, at least 12 months, mate. My personal guesstimate. Guy that did the game show Blockbusters. Blockbusters was James Bond. Who the hell's that, dude? Who's that, dude? Hey, has anyone seen? You know, oh my god, have you seen? Have you seen? Oh, jeez, dick balls. I will shoot you like the last horse that did that to me. I will do it. I've got a history of shooting horses that do that. Don't think I won't, bro. Don't think I won't shoot you right where you stand, geezer. I'm gonna pat you. And if this isn't good Easy. enough. Easy, you're alright. Easy there. It's a bit speaks. Last one got a shotgun right to the goddamn ear hole. Shh, girl. Mind you, I had I just set fire to its master hideously and burnt him alive while he was hog tied up at a campfire. You know, just saying, but Oh my god! Oh my god. I missed. I actually missed. What an absolute shit nag of a horse, mate. Twice it kicked me in the goddamn head, bro. That is just shocking. Anyway, get in your saddlebags. Not even a clean kill either. Look at that. Bullet holes actually in the horse. Look, that's awful, mate. All right, let's go and try your mate. Where's your mate? Oh, your mate's legged it. Well, I can't say I blame him, to be honest. Unbelievable. What was his name? Probably uh, Freddo. Freddo, Freddo, now he is glue. Let's get the hell out of here, Bo Jangles. What is that? I should have got the shotgun. I should have gone back and got the shotgun. Put it right between the goddamn eyeballs, mate. Right, what are we going to have? We're going to have... Um, well, actually, I see what we need to go and eat then, don't we? Yep. I, need to, I need to go and hunt. I actually need some meat of my own. So let's go and see if we can find some animals to murder. He played Bond on raid. Bob Holness. Bob Holness was James Bond. No way. Really? That is shocking. That is actually really shocking. Bob Holness was Bond. <laughs> <laughs> It gives us all like, doesn't it, really? Jesus. You alright, awesome? How you doing, mate? How's things? Do you have a nice, uh, a nice Friday, bro? Yeah, Sean Connery was easily the best. I do I do like what they've done with Daniel Craig, though. I, I have to say. Um, sure, it, 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 to me, there's two, there's two eras of Bond. There's the pre-Daniel Craig... And then there's the Daniel Craig. If that's the gentleman's name. Please forgive me if I've got that wrong. Um, Sean Connery was easily, easily the best Bond for me. But I have to say, it was it was a whole different era, wasn't it? It was a whole different, a, a different kettle of fish. Uh, not, not just in cinema, but in, but it, but, but in the history of Bond. You know, Craig's Bond is actually a very, very dark Bond. There's a massive shift away from that kind of very, very heavily sexual innuendo, tongue-in-cheek comedy, one-liner. Pre-Craig to the, the very dark. I mean, it's some really nasty stuff happens. I mean, that that torture Just scene where he's sitting on the chair and his old Bojangles dangled with the rope. I mean, Jesus, there's some nasty stuff in that, I tell you. I, 
can't, I can't imagine Sean Connery pulling off that sort of dark character. But yeah, Sh Sean was uh, for, for the earlier stuff. Sean was uh, Sean was amazing. Sean, let's be honest, Sean Connery is amazing, isn't he? I mean, has, has Sean Connery ever done a shit film? Not really. I'll have a Bex Blue shaken, not stirred. Oh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> With some scampy fries. I'll have some scampy fries with it. Come on, girl. Can you dodge a kick? I don't know. Yeah, well, that, that's why I ate KWD after the first one. I, if I hadn't topped up my health, I think I'd have been murdered by the horse. I'd have been quite upset, mate. Uh, Wiki is saying Barry Nelson was the first to portray James Bond. Oh, someone called Barry Nelson. Never even heard of him. Grum for Bond 2009. The name's Bond. Grum Bond. <laughs> Give us your hobnobs, you bunch of nobbers. <laughs> what rifle did I use there? That was the... I think I used the normal rolling block. No, the rare rolling block. That's what I used to murder the, uh, the little ones. Now, what we will do is get the old barmint rifle out and see if we can... Uh, See what we'll do. We'll have a we'll have a have a bit okay. of chewing tobacco. Ooh, lovely jabbly. And then we'll head home. Yep. Have actually got home locked in. Or am I am I off gallivanting around the world? I think I make a great bond. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think I think we can add a dose of uh, much needed. I'm very, I'm very well known for my excellent stamina. Uh, not stamina, sorry. <clears throat> well, you know, <laughs> if you must. Um, uh, my stealth skills. <laughs> I'm particularly good at stealth games, you'll have noticed. And uh, a bit of karaoke. Easy. I think that's what Bond is missing. Uh, yep. There should be more karaoke in Bond films. And I think, you know, with my blend of ninja style skills and my wonderful angelic singing voice, we, we could, we, I tell you what, it could happen. You know, it, it could happen. <laughs> Jeff, the name's Bond. Jeff Bond as he drops his gun through his trouser pants. <laughs> what was the guy that you've thrown me now? What, what about this dude playing Geralt? Oh my god, he looks freaking awful. It's, it's, it's the most cringeworthy thing I've ever seen. That's gotta be pre makeup, right? That has got to be pre-makeup. Now, that must just be him with the hair. Because there is no way that that is Geralt, mate. Have you seen the uh, the mock-up they've done of it? What's the dude's name? Um, is it is it Mads Mickelson? Or Mix Maddelson? Maddelson Mix? Muddly Maddelson. Mix Maddelson. I don't know what his name is. You know, you know the dude, I mean. The dude who played... Um, well, he's played bleed and everything. He always plays a bad guy. So someone's done like a, a makeup thing of him as Geralt. Oh my god, he looks amazing. He looks, at, he looks, he looks like Geralt. He looks more Geralt than Geralt actually looks himself. Mads Mikkelsen, I think his name is. He would have been so much better than whoever the freaking hell Superman is. He looks terrible. Absolutely terrible. He's too clean. He's too. He's too Superman. You know, he's chiseled. He's a good-looking dude, right? What? Cat Cara? Carry? I don't know. Karaoke, whatever his name is. He's a good-looking dude. He's the stereotypical marble chiseled bloke, isn't he? And that's great for something like Superman. That does not work for Geralt. That is not Geralt, man. Geralt is a, a low-down, dirty, you know, witcher, nasty piece of work, you know, at times. And, and it, it just ain't working. It just, I mean, obviously, it's got to be pre-makeup because he's not got yellow eyes and he's not got any stubble. You know, he's got, he's got to have a bit of a grey stubble, isn't he? Otherwise, he's not Geralt. So I, I can only think it's going to get better, but oh, he looks so bad. It, it's like taking Geralt and putting him in a Timothy advert, isn't it? it it's awful. It, it just doesn't look right. Um, I actually wanted to take that meat myself, you know. Um... Tell you what, let, let me let me go out to camp. Uh, actually, I think I can do it here, can't I? Is there a, is there a camp spot for our own cooking purposes? I think it's up there. Let's go and have a look. What's that? I've been doing okay until the singing bit grew up. Ah, oh, you love my singing, thank you, Thanks, mate. 
lot of people criticize it. I, I, I know you love it. Uh, rest by campfire, cook. <laughs> Johnny English. Uh, you like Henry? Is that it? Henry Cavill? Is that his name? Yes. He's. I mean, yeah, I've got, I mean, exactly. Perfect for Superman, right? But, jeez, man. No way did that look, that, that looked hot. Just shocking. But it, it can only get better. You give him some uh, cat's eye yellow contact lenses and, and a good bit of stubble and, and a bit of scarage. And I'm, I'm sure he'll look fine, but uh, stay. I think we'll stay there. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. Good morning. That is, what's his name? That is um, Bill, isn't it? Bill Williamson. I don't have a lot of feed to cook, actually, by the looks of it. <laughs> Geralt is literally already going to win with Griffin staring into pieces. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm the, I mean, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna judge it yet. I, I'm sure I've got a long way to go. It was the hair made me laugh. Uh, did you see that um, that picture I put in Discord where they got, uh, is it Malpheus or whatever his name is from um, Harry Potter and Legolas and sort of combine the two <laughs> to make it look like Henry Cavill? Is that his name, Henry Cavill? Uh, that, that, I was proper laughing at that. I thought that was brilliant. The genius of the internet, right? Come on, chop, chop, chop. Can you spice up the food? What, with, uh... What, with so, so some jalapenos and things? Not, not that I know of. You're asking a bit much now, aren't you? I mean, Jesus Christ. You're never happy, are you? You're never happy, mate. Sometimes if you... Oh, you can cook it a bit faster, look. Oh, we can dunk it right in the flames. I don't know that. You told there are no scars because he's a young Geralt. Oh, well, that's just going to ruin it. Are they, are, they trying, are they trying to make it so that Henry Cavill is, is, is his pretty gorgeous self to try and uh, attract uh, a, another element of the audience, be it male or female? That, that would be shocking if they do that. That's not... No one wants to see a pretty Geralt. Jesus Christ, you know. What's that all about? I literally turned off at one point NVIDIA Hairworks in my Witcher 3 playthrough the second time we played it up because it made Geralt look too pretty. No man should have hair like that, let alone someone rolling around in the muddy uh, caverns of Riveria or whatever it's bloody called. Shocking, mate. Okay, so we've got a little bit of food. Um, in fact, should we go and eat the stew? I don't think I've actually had any of my stew for morning, weeks, Arthur. have I? Good morning, sir. Good morning, partner. Would I, would I uh, pass as a Texan? Good morning, partner. Howdy, friend. I'm getting into this. I like my singing. Very talented. You'd be all over those soap suds, or... Have you, have you seen, uh, what, what do you think of Arthur Simpson? Obviously, he's, he's not looking his finest at the minute, but, you know, you know, is he doing anything for the ladies? <laughs> old, old Arthur, you know? Is he, uh, tickling, tickling your fancies? I kind of like Arthur. There's, there's a manly ruggedness. I can sort of smell the sweat and leather from here, mate. It's uh, making me slightly moist every time I play it. Extra talc during these streams. Where am I taking this? Yeah, there's something, there's something about old Arthur. See, you see, John, John, I never, you know, I never, I never felt a, 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 a bubbling in my loins with John. <laughs> Not doing it for, yeah, it doesn't surprise me, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's not, he's not, he's not Henry Cavill, is he, mate? Uh, I can see that, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> Geralt is so badass, not even Mud dares to stick to him. We should finish our Witcher 3 playthrough one day. It's never going to happen. I'm more tempted to play Horizon Zero Dawn, to be honest. I'm a millionaire! I'm Six a months, Critter! And not any of that, a tier 3! For six months. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much indeed, bro. Did you not get any uh, grum bombs or anything for that? 
What's going on? Did you, you should have got grum bombs and alerts and things in there, mate. Oh, it's because it's Game Wisp. Oh, is Game Wisp still working? We need to look into that, actually. Critout, thank you very much, mate. Thank you very much for the Game Wisp. That was Game Wisp, right? Was that Game Wisp? Thank you very much, bro. It must have been, right? It must have been. Thank you very, very much indeed, sir. Thank you for that. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Can we please get some sub loving chat from Critata? Six month game with gold sub. Absolutely fantastic, mate. Thank you very much indeed. You right, Razor? What are you all banging on about my singing for? Bloody critics. Okay, mate, I can imagine your beautiful yodel uh, <laughs> Or whatever, whatever. <laughs> Mr. Sadie. Yeah. Singing to Casper in the shower. I can imagine it now, bro. Thank you very much, Grutout. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, no, I bet my coffee's gone cold. Oh, shit, it has. Mm. That was my last Tassie moment. It's gone stone cold. Have you uh, given the deer carcass to the butcher? No, I've just... Um, I'm, th I'm thinking of... Uh, I think I've cooked everything. I, th I think I've cooked everything. I wanted to make sure we got our meat off it first, dude. Uh, I, I still think he could... I think the way it works is... You, you, when you kill an animal... And tell me, because you, you've been quite good at spotting things like this, man. When I kill an animal, I, I, I literally carve the meat up, don't I? And I get... Uh, types of food in my inventory, my satchel. So in this case, it would have been um, like like medium game meat. But I can still bring the carcass back, right, and sell it, and, and well, not sell it, but give it to Pearson, and he'll get more meat off it. Is, do you think that's the way it works? I'm, I'm a bit unclear about it. it. It's almost like if I'm getting the meat when I skin it, what's the point in bringing the carcass back? So I, I can only think that the carcass is still of use to Pearson. Um, otherwise, I don't really get it. A bit late in the game to be thinking about things like that, isn't it? That's right, yeah. So we, we, get the, we get the skin. So we get the pelts or the skin or whatever it is. We get, as you say, the animal fat. We get that particular type of... Because you can get small game, medium game, large game, or whatever it's called. Um... And you can you can hold five of each of that particular type. So if I, if I killed like a deer, I might get five um, venison meat or whatever it's called, or game meat. If I kill a rabbit, I might get say like two small game meat. Let's let's have a look, dude. Let, let's see if uh, let's see if I can donate the carcass still. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Yeah, Morgan. We can. Yeah, I will. The body of a deer in perfect condition can be sold. So donate it for provisions. Okay, let's take a look. I think I, job, I, th I think I think I think I get it. I, th I think I get that. Well, hang on, we've not had the stew, have we? Uh, let, let me just do another hay bale because it's really good. Really good for XP. So, is anyone in chat actually going to try the mobile Diablo game? Have they said anything about it? I mean, I'm going to assume. And I should stop making assumptions like this, but I'm going to assume the new Diablo game, Diablo Immortal, it's on iOS and it's on Android. I do know that. Is it free to play? I'm going to assume it is. And it will make money the same way Clash of Clans does, you know, through booster packs, XP packs, skins, blah, 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 blah. I mean, I'll probably give it a go. I, I, I will see if my ancient A5 plays it. But I can't imagine myself ever getting into it. Yeah, and then certainly I won't be spending any money on it. So, What I will be interested in is maybe a YouTube channel that gives me the story. Because I am quite interested in the tie-in with the story. Um, it's actually an interesting era that they're going to cover in Diablo Immortal. Um, which will fill in a few of the blanks, I suppose. That, well, I... I suppose it's open to interpretation. So I'd be interested in watching a summary of any cutscenes, uh, story, voiceover work, perhaps. 
other than that i'll you know i'll probably download it see if it runs i'm sure it'll run okay ish and then i'll probably never ever touch that app again it will sit there like pokemon go taking up a huge amount of space and updating in the middle of the night and go beep 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 beep, beep, beep. pokemon go is ready to play thank you not touched it for years i've tried to delete that goddamn program so many times it just keeps coming back it's like a virus mate where's the dude i want to go hunting child oh i'm still not eating the stew either where's the stew gone Pearson, where's the stew, bro? Well, there it is. Oh, there's no stew. Is that where oh, the stew is? Why is he sod? So hang on, what's the difference between that there and this here? What's the Oh, this is where I actually pick up provisions, isn't it? Which I never ever do. Hmm. Maybe after lunch, eh? Oh, lunch. I'll have a nicer ploughman's salad, I think. What you preparing for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Ooh. Bison? No. Nice. Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. Uh, we're starting chapter three, Mallow. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Good morning, Lady Elvira. Thank you, Critak. Seriously, bro, thank you ever so much for the game with sub, mate. I really appreciate that. Thank you kindly, sir. Thank you. How are you, mate? How's things? We were talking about um, Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey yesterday, mate. You all right, girl? Very much looking forward to hanging back into that, dude. Yeah, I mean, I'll no. give it a go, Vera. Like there I said, I, I just can't imagine me enjoying course, anything on mobile. I just don't enjoy mobile gaming. My mother tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. When the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but... I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Do you think they'll ever get away from that kind of WoW-esque aesthetic in Diablo, um, Alethean? So, or do you think that is now where just are we part headed? of Blizzard? Back up to the heartlands. Okay. Good morning. Feels like there's been so much noise and chaos recently. Would you mind if we just rode and enjoyed the silence for once? I need to clear my mind. Well, by, by salad, I meant uh, a plate of meat. I, don't forget, I'm a, I, I'm a bacon vegan. Sure, fine by me. It's, it's code, Simpsy. It's code, code, code word. It's, a basic salad is like a T-bone steak, mate. With, uh, we, we sort of waft it gently with a lettuce leaf before we take it out of the kitchen. Salad. Rambodian slang, you see. Don't you, don't you win, win. <sighs> well, that rat, I, I, I was so tempted to shoot that rabbit then, but I do like uh, I do like his horse. Charles's horse is beautiful. I, I commented on that yesterday, didn't I, when we saw it in camp. It's a very, very nice uh, dappled bottom. I like a good dappled bottom. Exactly, KW. I, I, I think Blizzard have moved away from the nitty gritty that I, that I love them for. What the hell is with the new War... What was it? Warcraft, uh, really? It, who cares? I think, I, it, was the, it was the biggest letdown BlizzCon ever. I mean, like I said, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting Diablo 4 announcement. I, I, I don't think anyone was, to be honest. I wasn't expecting a Diablo 2 remastered announcement. I was expecting a almost Diablo 3... Not necessarily spin-off, but expansion pack is what I was expecting. With um, almost MMO-like persistence. Um, I, I just never, I, I just never quite continued the thought process through to it being a mobile game. <laughs> That's what surprised me. I, I think I, I all, I mean, I actually posted it in Discord, didn't I? Uh, a Diablo 3 style game that would be more, more persistent. You'd have a character that would venture into a a 
a land that had a lot of other players in it. Uh, so almost, oh, no, not, not, an, not a full-blown MMO as such, but a, a much bigger server capacity almost. Like, I thought they were going to go down that route, you see. So I, I was, you know, I, I, I fired a shot. It missed the target completely. But, you know, I, I was in the right shooting range. Not far now. Let's cut up this way. But yeah, I don't think we'll ever get an old school, um, dark, gritty, gothic-esque game from Blizzard. Uh, everything, you know, Overwatch, Hearthstone, World of Warcraft, every, everything they do is that kind of... Even when they try and make it dark and gloomy, it, it's still quite vibrant, isn't it? And it, it's, it's an art style that, you know, I've come to admire. You know, I, I actually do like the look of Diablo 3 when I'm playing it because it does the it does the job. But it, you know, to me, it's so colourful and pew 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 and Over rainbow there. shooting out you of unicorn buttholes. It's Incredible and then, then I go and play there. Titan Quest. We should only kill one of them. And I just I just realised we'll how much down. better we'll that see is. If you can bring one down. Okay, clean as you can. Okay. Okay. Right. So let's learn about bison. What's he doing? Don't go racing in, dude. I need, I need... Oh, you asshole. Why is he doing yeah. that? What a knobber. I want to study them. I want to study one. Might have failed the mission here, but I'm determined to uh, do this first. I can't, can't go in, can't go in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do I get it? Uh, use a rifle for a clean kill. So no surprise there. Okay, so let's go to weapons. Let's go for our rare rolling block rifle. Why did he go racing in when they were all just standing there, like, quite happily? That seemed like a very silly uh, methodology to hunting bison, quite frankly. Or did he actually want me to do something else and I missed it? Oh, they're all, they're all proper freaked out. Look at him chasing that bison over there. He's such a knob, Charles. Yep. Let's go and do it the way he wants me to do it. I think, anyway. I don't think I can actually... Can I go into... I was waiting for the head to turn, mate. Sorry, dude. I wanted to get a clean right. eyeball shot. Shin and butcher it. Take the horns too. It can all be used. And, uh, did I miss something? What? What? what you, you've got a herd of buffalo sitting there grazing, right? I've got a rolling block rifle. I'm up. I've got the high ground. The scent. You know, there's no way. You know, my scent's carrying down to them. Get off the horse. Crouch behind a bush. Get a nice clean kill shot. Why, why was he running around like headless chicken chasing it? <laughs> was, was there something I missed there? I'm going to time Zara out for being a dickhead. Let me uh, time him out for being a penis. There we go. Look at that. That's the fucking power I've got these days, mate. Oh, oh flexing the old uh, streamer muscle there. It's not my fault. You, uh, you, you're like your you candy crush Diablo instead of your nitty gritty gothic Titan Quest, mate. Titan Quest is so much better than Diablo that literally the developers that we're going to make Diablo were so disgusted with the direction that Blizzard were going to take it that they left to make Titan Quest. That says a lot, doesn't it? Let's skin this. Skinny, skinny, skinny. Good morning, Subquake. How you doing, bro? He was going to drive the bison to me. Well, that's what I thought, Razor, but he was just chasing him around in circles, bro. Round and round and round and round. Jesus, look at this. This is, this is brutal. This is brutal, mate. Good job. That's what I actually call Diablo Still these days. Diablo Candy Crush Edition. Go check something out. I, I, I must admit, if, if I hadn't got a okay. Titan Quest, I would Let's be, go. I would have been tempted to pick up uh, it on the Switch, sir. 
I would have been tempted to pick it up on the Switch. Um, Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. I just wanted to see what attracted But I, I know, I, I knew it, I would have regretted it. I, I've, I've definitely had my fill of Diablo. Um, although I'm sure it plays, fan well, it does play fantastic on the Switch from what we've seen. I, I would have had buyer's remorse over that. Damn. Oh, look. Bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? That's awful. I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. Tracks. I said we follow see them, mate. Alright. Lead the way. Yeah, if, that, if he was trying to lead a, a buffalo to me, that, then I can only uh, say that his idea of leading... Oh, so, sorry, a bison to me was uh, sorely lacking. You all right, Clay? How you doing, bro? Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just You're don't right, know why would just leave them here to rot like that. Is that what he actually said, Smart? Or are you just making shit up? I'm pretty sure if you shot a bison and then went running in, firing shotgun shells into there, all the other bison would scarf, alright? Surely. Look, another dead bison to our left there. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna That's take really a look. That's really awful, isn't it? These creatures are magnificent. Are bison still really uh, commonplace in America? Or, or have the... I mean, obviously the numbers would have been decimated, but I mean, are they back to, you know, uh, an easily sustainable... It's like when you talk to uh, to an Australian about kangaroos, and you think, oh, you know, kangaroos, you know, it's so iconic of Australia. If you, you talk to an Aussie about kangaroos, it's like, shit, the bastards. They're everywhere, mate. <laughs> <laughs> like bloody vermin, you see a kangaroo, you shoot it. <laughs> what's what, what's what's the situation with bison in America? I mean, I mean, obviously they did get absolutely just just destroyed, didn't they? The, you know, the herds just being massacred and things. I don't, I'm not sure whether I don't know whether people are. I think people are pissed off, Claude, but I think people are pissed off justifiably with. with the way. I, I don't think people, I mean, most people I, I'd like to think are not upset because it's a mobile game. You know, that, that, you know, that was going to happen. I, I, it was always going to be on the cards. I, didn't, I, I think it was just the fact it was announced at BlizzCon as, as like the big hoo-ha of that year's BlizzCon. Um, I think that's what's upset people, Chloe. You know, but BlizzCon is the realm of hardcore Diablo fans. And, you know, Diablo has always had its foundations deeply rooted in the PC. And to, to have something come out that is mobile exclusive and announced as the big cherry on the cake at BlizzCon, I think that's why people are pissed off. And to be fair, justifiably, in my opinion, um, that they are going to be a bit upset, you know. There's a difference between being, you know, you might be upset on Christmas morning when you don't get, uh, you know, a Nintendo 64 that you, you were hoping. It doesn't mean you hate Nintendo 64. You know, you just feel a bit let down with your parents, yet. don't you? Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. Aren't you okay, thinking of mammoths, Sadie? I know they used this to uh, try and herd mammoths good view from up here. off uh, large drops. I, I, I can't imagine Native Americans having... Wouldn't they have had too much respect okay. for the bison to... You see anything? To just run them off a cliff in, in their hundreds when they can only eat one or two. To the east. Maybe another camp. It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. Oh, cheers, beside. I'll have a look. So, so actually, so, so hang on. Let's so, just let me just try and catch up. You're right, Doc. How are you doing, mate? Uh, so, bison. So, so actually, there's not. So, so America's not exactly, you know, thriving with uh, with bison then. 
you check out that video I put in uh, Discord if you get a chance to persuade about the, the wild Mustangs? I'll tell you what. Killing for fun. Freaking Think frightening, dude. Talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. So they are endangered. Right. Really, said it. Wow, that surprises me, mate. That, that really does surprise me. Just goes to show how, like, stereotypes, you know, I always thought it would be, um... Something that was a much more personal than killing a creature like a bison, Look, rather than, than risking bison. running a whole Get herd off a cliff. Come on, wait up! That, that sounds like a lot of needless dead bison. Look at them, they're everywhere. So, something is just murdering them left, right, and centre. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Let me make sure I've got my Lancaster. Wait. I knew that was going to happen. It's only the second time, any second time in the game I've done that. Does it give you a chance sometimes? Just feels like sometimes it rushes you on rails because I'm going to miss that conversation. Although he was just in hearing shot, I couldn't. Um, got a failed mission okay. status. You Let's do it now then. Before we. Uh Go for the pump action shotgun. See well. anything? Right out. Let me just uh, Arthur, have my food as well. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. Let's do it, Charles. I'm ready this time. I do apologise, sir. I was uh, I was trying to go back to my horse to get my my Lancaster rifle, but but it's a repeater. Bastards! Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. <laughs> well, the, well, the herds would have been huge bison. though, right, Sadie? Has to be that. I mean, literally hundreds on, of bison. Wait up. It, it, I heard it would have been like five or six, would it? Shoot those bison. What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <laughs> it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! Whoa. I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? I'm gonna beat you up, dude! Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about! Well, you better change your chin, sir! God damn it, tell us you're dead! Oh, okay! We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No! Please, don't kill me. I'm I've heard enough. Dead. Well, that was justifiable. Damn right. That's what he deserved. Damn I've right, Charles. Damn right, I'm Charles. Back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Needless slaughter. Yeah, I, I was watching um, a really interesting... I, I put it up in Discord in the Red Dead section. I'd highly recommend anybody that... I mean, like I said, it'd be interesting to see... Oh my god, he actually blew his freaking head off. Jesus. Um, yeah, about how they round up the wild Mustangs using helicopters. And, you know, I mean, I, I don't live in America. I, I, I'm not... You know, I'm not... You know, I, I know no matter what we see in video or written format these days, th th there's a way to make it sound worse or better or, or a way to manipulate it so it turns into propaganda for one side or another. And I'm not so naive as to understand that that isn't, you know, the case in, in all walks of life. But to see Wild Mustang literally being rounded up 
by helicopter and, and the terror in their eyes as they are li literally for sometimes for hours. For, I mean, we're not just talking about, you know, five minutes, the hours they're chased in helicopters. And then basically, is it called gelding? So gelded? And, and uh, from what I can understand, the only reason it's done is to free up land for livestock. And I, I, I watched it and I just thought, I've never seen anything so sad and, and awful. But there's got to be a reason it's done, right? I mean, well, wh why, why, why can the Mustangs not live on the land? I, this is a big land, right? Why do the Mustang? Why do they have to get rid of the Mustangs in order to free up the land for livestock? I mean, so straight away, there's a question in my naivety, my lack of knowledge around the topic that I'm sure somebody could explain. And I'm sure if I was to speak to a livestock cattle owner, rancher, whatever, they're going to have a very different opinion to what the people making that video have had. Um, but it, oh, it was unbelievable. It, it, I, I said, I've never seen anything quite like that. I, I mean, I'm not a big fan of horses, but, you know, I can still respect and admire, you, you know, what they are. It's asking me to find something else, but I can't really see any. Oh, tin. There's a tin there, look. What am I missing? Is it that lock box over there, do you think? I completely missed that. I didn't see anything come up. Ah, ah there we go, look. <clears throat> a letter. Poison throwing knife pamphlet. Something speak by jangles. Oh, girl. Oh, I do actually have to read that as we discovered from Mr. Elegon yesterday, didn't we? Um, recent poison throwing knife pamphlet. In close combat altercations with wildlife, the hunter can often become the hunted if an animal is not dispatched quickly. Throwing a knife at an animal works, however, it may result in the loss of a very good knife if the animal flees with it still buried in their hide. This recipe will help drop an animal. In a matter of seconds. Take a throwing knife and carefully rub an oleander sage plant along the blade. Still in the satchel. Outdoorsman's tip. If no water can be found for days, do not substitute drinking liquor, salt, water, urine or blood as they bring on delirium. Hmm. Uh, Mustangs and Brumbies are introduced to America and Australia. Spanish introduced... What's that got to do with anything? Though? That's not what I was asking, dude. I wasn't asking where they came from. I was asking, like, what, why do they have to clear a whole... The, 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 way, the way it was prescribed... So sort of, not prescribed, described. So say this is an area of land that is due to have cattle implemented into it. And there's wild Mustang roaming free on it. They round up all the Mustangs. And do pretty horrible things to them. Um, shove them in sort of big steel, well, fenced off areas, all rammed in and geld them, and sort of that's it really. That, that's that's the rest of their life. I don't understand why why they have to remove. Can can, can, can cattle and mustangs not live together? Uh, I mean, it's a pretty big open area, right? Uh, I mean, I can't imagine a horse having a bit of a beef with a cow. And, you know, punching him in the dick on a Friday night. It just seems a bit weird. What was that there? Was, is that... Western Ravens. God, you can hear them. They sound awful, don't they? Prong horn doe. Well, we've got food. Um, I think we head back. That was quite good hunting the bison. I'm going to assume we got some really good food out of that. And what the hell is that? Horse fence. No way. We've unlocked a horse fence. Oh, he's still... Oh, right. So we can act... Ah, look. So that means later on in the game, you actually can steal other people's horses and sell them. So actually, we were asking about that, weren't we? So you can do that then. Ooh. Yeah. It is, yes. Uh, I, I didn't realise how um, social horses were either. There was something else in that video. Uh, 
open my eyes to, to be honest. I am. Um, I mean, I, I know they're like a pack animal, if you like. But I, I didn't realize how emotionally tied they were to a partner, for example. It's quite, quite interesting. Also upset the ecology. How? How can a horse upset an ecology when they've been roaming the plains for like thousands of years? How can a, how can mustangs upset the ecology? Why would anyone let wild animals share grazing ground with cultivated cattle? Why not, though? That, that's what I'm asking. Why wouldn't you? Th those horses there, right? Why would they be bothering a load of cattle over there? It, it's not like they're going to run out of grass, dude. But that's what I'm saying. There, there must be something like that. I'm not saying it's wrong or right. I'm just saying I don't understand it. If I've got three Mustangs over there and 75 cows over there, why can't they just live on the same patch of land? What do you mean competition? It's fucking grass, dude. They're, they're not hunting freaking... You know, rare... Animals, are they? They're not top of the food chain, mate. I mean, they eat freaking grass all day long. Because they're not native. What's that got to do with anything? The Mustangs are native, though, aren't they? What's the, what's the, what, why would you kill something? Because it's if it, if it is or isn't native, though. It makes no sense, does it? Territory. And what, what do you mean by that, Doc? I'm not sure what you mean by that. What do you mean by territory? Ah, there. I mean, you don't have a, you don't have a field in the UK where where cattle like cows are are raised, and like one week all the grass is gone. It, it don't work like that. <laughs> it's not like it's not like oh shit, I've run out of grass, mate. We we have to get rid of the horses because the horses are it. You know what I mean? The grass grows pretty fucking quick, right? I don't understand why you'd have to get rid of them. But there must be a reason. I mean, don't, don't think I'm sitting here on my high horse, no pun intended. It's a legitimate question. I'd, I'd be fascinated to know from somebody in the industry why the Mustangs can't exist, coexist with the livestock. Because there must be a reason. Exactly, Persuade. So, so but, but what difference is a few Mustang going to make? Well, when you've got like 3,000 cows and probably like 100, 100 Mustang, well, I just don't, it, it just, the balance just seems, it, it sounds like they're getting rid of the Mustang just because they fucking don't like them. <laughs> Quite honestly. No, because they're, they're geld. I don't, I don't know what happens. I don't know why, I don't even know why they geld them because they never let them back out in the wild anyway, mate. I can't imagine horses go upsetting cows somehow, mate. I just, I just, in fact, I'm pretty sure on the motorway, I've seen cows and horses in fields in the UK. In fact, I know I have. It does seem strange. Anyway, as in, it would appear that absolutely nobody knows. So that there's one for us to do some Grimbadian research on. Azzy, thank you very much. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you for the biddies, bro. Yeah, I bet it's crazy, isn't it, Alicia? Yeah. Like I said, I've watched quite a few videos uh, just on a general horse sort of, uh, I, I suppose, social dynamics recently. I'm quite fascinated by them. I'm still terrified of them. I still, I legit would not really want to ever. I'm not going to go out of my way to start riding a horse, mate. I, I still think they terrify me. They are. They're just so big and strong and powerful. And I, I, I've just never been brought up around horses or had an opportunity to spend any time with them. And they, they do scare me. You know, no, not as in, oh, go on a horse, run away. I, I just, I'd really just rather not get on one. You know, given a choice, would you want to get on a horse or not get on a horse? Some people, like, oh, I'd love a chance to go on a horse. Yeah, I'd love that. You, you know, to go riding. Yeah. I'm like, nah, mate. I got a quad bike, dude. <laughs> Give me a quad bike, <laughs> or, or in my case, a mountain bike. I'd, I trust the mountain bike. It does exactly what I want it to do, except when it flies over a log and smashes my front freaking teeth into a tree, which I still don't like it for that.
What's that? There will be a future one day where there will be zero wildlife on Earth, even in the ocean. Well. I should I suppose that, I mean, what would last long? I guess the ocean is going to, I don't know, actually. I mean, will the ocean last longer than the uh, the land? I suppose the ocean is so vast, isn't it? It's so deep, even if we deliberately went out of our way to pollute it. Would it, would it not be more resilient than the land? And, I don't know, I suppose it depends on how it all ends, doesn't it? Zombie apocalypse? Radiation? Who knows? Okay. I, I, to be honest, uh, Subquay, my, my personal theorem on this, if I was to whip one out of my butthole, yeah. I, I think we as a species will be long dead before we mess this planet up to a point where that happens, mate. Because I think the most likely end of us will be some sort of bacteriological and or viral infection, which will be so completely uncontrollable. With the way that we as a species migrate around this planet, on, on any given day, somebody is on one side of the planet and somebody on the other side of the planet. There, there are now no restrictions, borders to our to just ferocious travelling of this earth and it, it's only going to take one super bug and that, that'll be it mate so I, I, I think the world has got a, a built in safety net hey there, for fella. us fucking it up completely we've already done a pretty good job of it from what I've heard I'm not some eco warrior but you know even with my limited understanding of it we're not doing a particularly good job looking after the environment right but whether you're a doom doom and gloom say or, or you know sitting on the fence a little bit we're certainly not helping the planet are we um i, I should imagine that would be the outcome as, as, as horrible as that is i think something will come along that we, we just can't contend with but then it's just as simple as that it's so contagious so virulent and then so completely destruction you know on, on an unprecedented scale that we as a species are just essentially wiped out from it yeah i think it's more likely than the nuclear war wiping us out or if, if that'll be or it'll be a massive massive catastrophic global event you know as we've had happen in the past with the asteroids meteors uh, some sort of like one in a bazillion solar flare that just incinerates the ozone layer or something and that's it then we're all crispy fried or something overnight are you busy arthur uh am i busy well i need to feed both jangles uh what have we got mate have you got any that's for me isn't it i don't want that uh horse let's have some ot cakes these are basically Hobnobs for horses. Oh, is it really blind? That video you posted is actually. But yeah, this is this is why I was interested to see if somebody else, uh, if somebody else had another alternative slant. That's why I asked for people to comment on it blind. Let me have a read of this. Then this will be quite interesting. That's why I didn't want to jump to too many conclusions, but rather ask questions and see if I could be more informed. So the video you post is a bunch of animal activist propaganda. The Mustangs are on private reserves. That's where they live. They're rounded up every year to control the population so they don't starve in the winter. Um, the vast majority of them go into uninstalled rhymes. I'm going to guess that's uh, a speech to text error. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about the second comment. So, so what you're actually saying is, is that... See, well, that's interesting because that's not what they said. Is, is They're actually outright lying then. So you're saying that the Mustangs are actually rounded up in order to, I, I suppose, stop them from starving to death in the winter. Uh, I, I can't make out your sec second comment, so I'm, I'm not too sure. That, they probably are, think, Danny, but, but at least I know if it, it, it's my fault. Whereas I can't control a horse, dude. And no matter what you do with a horse, the horse has still got some autonomy over throwing itself off a cliff, right? Whereas a quad bike hasn't. <laughs> that's the difference. <laughs> See, that's interesting, that's bike, because I, I was I was wondering if there'd be another side to the coin. Now, that, now, what you're saying there is in direct contradiction to what they're saying. That they weren't even trying to mask that. That you know that they were saying quite literally that 
you know, basically refuting that as a theorem. So that, that is interesting. That is interesting. I'll have to do some more research because it's clear there's not a, not a huge amount of knowledge on the matter. There was actually a near-miss asteroid that NASA failed to spot. <laughs> is it NASA's job to spot them, is it? <laughs> you don't boffed it, NASA. It was actually too close. Really, how close were we to uh, some, some sort of global catastrophe, Doc? You're right, ex-adventurer. They love the sugar cubes. They do. She, like, she likes apples. She really likes her apples, mate. Let's see if I've got one. Let's give, her, let's give her a little cheeky apple for you. That's what I said. I, I mean, I don't know if you joined us at the start of the conversations, but that's exactly what I said. You know, before I even went down this route, it was very much saying, you know, it's very easy to spin a tail. Well, when it's you making the video, when it's you that have control of the airwaves, it's very easy to make it sound, you know, like your opinion is the only one that matters, the only one that's got any truth behind it. And that's why having watched that video, which was incredibly sad to watch, and that's what set alarm bells off. Um, it wasn't one of those heavily factual, I, I, I guess, documentaries. You could tell they were playing on your heartstrings. Um, you know, the way the music played, the slow motion shots of the horses. And straight away I'm thinking, that they're, they're definitely trying to persuade me into a way of thinking here. And that's why I've asked the question today is, you know, what, what is the truth behind it? And I'd love to know. You know, I've got a lot of questions about it. Like Blind said, you know, that's an interesting, um... Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stage <laughs> coach? Spiel no, check. Never. <laughs> well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Good point. Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. I like I like Trelawney. He's he's you know he's an interesting character, isn't he? He's uh, he's, he's so on the periphery of the group as a whole. Um, but as Arthur said. He has he has a nasty habit of coming up with the goods when they really need it. Um, let's go. Let's go and have a stroll with this friend of yours. Roads. Because oh, cool. What can Back to possibly road. go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. <laughs> What's that? You sure that? seem to have got about around here. Hang on, mate. They're, they're you know me. Chatting. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Ooh. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. We saw some of these. Until, well... That unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah, we saw some of the bombs Thanks for that, didn't we? Disappearing Shares. On us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strength, dear boy. Dear boy. You know, dear boy. You boys should really watch boy. yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway. While they're off chasing their pot of confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden, is quite a fellow. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Where's the hitching post, Brian? Uh, so what, you're actually struggling just to play it? Um, oh, I don't know, Bender. I, it, 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 there's no... It, there's no easy answer for you, mate. It, it, it's just... I'm gonna guess you've just not used a controller for a long, 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 long time. And, and it's just getting used to them, mate. Um, 
It, it sounds like you're having a bad, bad time of it, though. It, it's not just uh, an inconvenience. You, it sounds like you're really struggling, bro. Um, the, the only thing I would suggest is not ruining the game by pushing on with the game if you're struggling with the controls. I'm going to be honest, Bender. This game has got so many different button combinations. Even people like me who literally use the controller day in, day out and, and use a variety of different controllers, I really struggle to get fluid. Um, you know, it, nothing was coming as muscle memory, mate. Trust me on that. And on top of that, Bender, if you're talking about the fighting, the fighting is really, really strange because you have to chamber rounds, dude. Now, I don't know whether you're just in general struggling with the controller, you know, looking around and getting him to walk where you want, or whether you're talking about a specific element of combat. I mean, I can help you out with the combat because I, I really struggle with that. Um... Yeah, so something as simple as getting on a horse, choosing a weapon, and having some chewing tobacco. I, I was having to literally think what to press. Um, and now it's all muscle memory now. And that now it comes like second nature. Um, it does take a while. It, it's a very complicated game, but input-wise. You're not being able to get over the tutorial part with the wolves. Jesus, really, dude? Um, frick. God damn, dude. Uh, I don't know then, bro. I just don't know what to say to you. Um, freak. Freaking hell. I don't know, dude. That, that, that sounds like you really, really are struggling, mate. Don't forget the pistol does need chambering. Uh, so you can't just go shoot, shoot, shoot. You do know that, right? I, 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 I don't want to sound like I'm teaching you to suck eggs, dude. Um, that dude playing one of them twang, mouth twangers, whatever they're called. Now, let me crack on with this, dude, so I can get to a place where I can shoot my gun bender. And maybe we can try and help you out a little bit. Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Don't throw away money on this game before it comes to PC. What's that, dude? Yeah, just just wait two years instead. Yeah, by which time there'll be some, yeah, GTA 6 will be out. That's a joke, by the way, before everyone jumps on it. Jeez. Sounds quite scary, Hello, that doc that they actually then. missed an, missed Hello, an asteroid. How have you been? <laughs> so, oops, missed that one. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. <laughs> they often are. But how's work, Alden? You smooth Terrible. talker. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. What? Uh. Well, there. How much am I paying him? There. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Ooh. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the... What did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well, <laughs> goodbye, Alden. Or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. Adieu. Adieu. You've got, uh, got one of those uh, quite fascinating voices, haven't you? Coach coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Valuables in strong box. Passenger is the very wealthy Mrs. Chester Damsey. Damsa. Aspiring but appealing opera singer. Use your imagination. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay, 
I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Time is of the essence here, dear boy. Oh. Let's move out. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we can help you out in a sec, Ben. Yeah. I've got a couple of things I can try and show you. Stuff that you're not. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance. The unions are whipping them up. So they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after You're right, stop all that playing. market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. Boy! You gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. <laughs> We're hoping to be long gone before that. Boy. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. I suppose if you've never ever played with a controller before, it, it might be an idea just, just to play somewhere else for a little bit. <laughs> Here we are. This is the spot. This is definitely not the game to uh, Easy. to be teaching you. Because I, I, it took, took me hours to get the combat, mate. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This this should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. <laughs> They'll be here soon. All right. Shall I, uh... I see if I should be somewhere is. else. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance. Right. Well, look. Let me change my... Can I change my outfit? The Earl. Oh. So they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. So I just come out and ran behind it. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. Not at all. I'm the best. Yeah. Oh, it's a free dungeon. <laughs> Did you say a show? It's a small benefit to build an opera in Blackwater. Just like... Mrs. Chester Damson. I flatter nobody. Oh, uh, stop the coach, my good man! Stop the coach! Stop in the bloody cage. Whoa! This damn survive! Did you stop soon? The New York audience. Shit is a dude there. New Yorkers are prigs and fools who believe Westerners don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. Shit, what am I supposed to do here? Could, could, could you? It's, it's such a small show, but... God, Tomahawk. <laughs> do I need to take him out? Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. See you later, Lady Elvira. See you later. 
It's going back, it's going back. Jesus balls. Oh, what a pro. Madam, I've heard enough. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough. But Mrs. Damson, magnifico. Magnifico. Oh, sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. And we shall lose that. And we shall get two, is it? Why is it not giving my uh Oi! Oi! There we go. Idiot. Oh hang on, that's two. So that hasn't got my jacket, has it? The hell? Three. Blabbly uh, jabbly! You were impressed with that, weren't you, Trelawney? Stealthy McStealthy pants. Well done, sir! Well done! It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur! Well, yes, we've got other ways to make hard, cold cash. How much do we actually make? Holy bloody balls! That was a lot of money. That was a lot of money. Wow, dude, that is pretty damn cool. Okay, my girl. So he also said to go to. Where else did he say to go? That was in Rhodes. So I can only assume he said Valentine was the other dude, right? Post office. The clerk sells train tickets for the roads area. Also handles mails. Blah 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 blah. Hmm. All right. Um. I really want to unlock that other trapper at Strawberry, but I seem to be having no joy with that whatsoever. Let's go and chat with Micah. My Micah's just a total crazy dude, isn't he? Yeah. Never trusted him since uh, that, that first um, first time we met him. It was in. Sadie Adler's house where her husband had been killed and Micah was basically, well, I think he was trying to, uh, trying to rape her, to be honest. Wait, what's going on? Get out of the way. Oh, is that right, Crazy? Do you think it's worth me going up to Valentine first and just unlocking? Otherwise, I'm going to forget. He definitely said something about going there, didn't he? I think we should go and do it. It's a long bloody way away, but... I don't know. I don't know. It, it is a hell of a long way away. I have a feeling if I don't do it, though, I'm literally going to... I'm never gonna do it, so I, th I think we should. <laughs> um, I, I just have this bad feeling. I'll finish the game and go, oh, it, it's a bit like the bounties. I never, I never went back to Valentine to see the show still had bounties for for like yeah. three plus streams, even though I kept saying we needed to go and do it. As it turned out, we did go and do it, and he hadn't got any bounties, but. Uh, you never know, do you? Um, you forgot about... Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm worried about, Chris. 
Doesn't hurt, just have a quick run up there. I'll go and get a coffee in a minute. What's what's the what's this little crookie is said? What are you talking about guns? Have you had a chance to play anything, Sadie? Did you actually boot up like Ghost Recon, Wildlands? Oh. Miss Nordic! Thank you very much for the bits, mate. How are you? Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, no, Miss Nordic, we, we had to change the... Uh, it's only for this, we changed the text-to-speech thing. Holy sh sugar, what was that? There you go, mate. <laughs> Don't want to let you down, Miss Nordic. <laughs> yeah, we had to turn all sound bites off. We, um... It's unfortunately one of those games where, especially early on, when we were really trying to... Oh, is Bender still there? Are you still there, Bender? It's one of those games where, especially at the start, it's so story-heavy. that There is literally like not... You know, I can't, it's probably a blessing. I, I can hardly get a word in edgeways, mate, to even talk about the game. It was, it, it's just like, you know, so dialogue-heavy or concentrating on doing what you're doing. So, uh... We turned all the sound bites off for a little bit. Well, the majority of them. I think I did quite a good rendition for you there. I, I feel like hopefully you got your money's worth. <laughs> Thank you for the biddies, mate. Thank you. Is that the, uh, is that, which Wolfenstein's that, Serdy? Is that the Old Blood, New Blood original? Or should I say Rebirth? Or is that uh, last year's or this year's version? You there, Bender? Yeah, I mean, oh jeez, how do I, how do I? Easy now. I mean, you're struggling to kill the wolves, right? So I'm gonna guess you've got. What have you got? Don't you have um? You have a sawn off shotgun. Is that what? Is that what you're using? I'm, sh I'm sure. I'm sure that that wolf section is the sawn off. Which actually shouldn't be being a problem because you don't need to chamber this. Um, I mean, there's no real. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say to you, bro. I mean, it's just boom, boom and a quick reload. But there's nothing fancy about it. Uh, you could try. I mean, if you're really struggling, mate, in the settings, you could you could turn on like the auto aim or something. Um, hey. and max that out just just while you get to grips with it. The, the best best I can advice I can give you is the left trigger right trigger trick. And unfortunately there's nothing around here for me to show you. But let's say that stone there. I mean you do know about Dead Eye, right, Bender? I mean you do actually know about Dead Eye, as stupid as that sounds. Because I didn't I don't think I realised I got it. I was I think I was waiting for the game to give it to me. And I'm pretty sure you have it from the start, don't you? So, you know, if you really are struggling, you know, as, as you're coming along, I think there's only three wolves. So as you're riding along, you're going to know the wolf comes from over there. Try, if, if you can try and get your cursor near it, and if you if you turn up the auto-aim settings quite high, all you literally need to do is tap the left trigger, take a shot, and then let go of both. So it's left trigger, shoot, and let go. Left trigger and shoot and let go. That left trigger should, if you turn auto aim up really high, drift the cursor to, to basically where you're shooting. Um, just remember to left trigger, right trigger, let go. Left trigger, right trigger, let go. Don't do left trigger and keep it depressed and then keep taking shots with the right trigger, otherwise you'll lose your auto aim lot. Um, and the other thing is, it's obviously dead eye, mate. You, you know, come in, flip that, and you can just free aim it wherever you bloody want it, dude. Dead Eye's not available at that point. Ah, right, in that case, um... In that case, yeah, the, the best thing to do is to do the left trigger, right trigger rotation. That's all I can suggest. That actually surprised me, Ben I actually thought we had access to that really early on. You surprised me there. Um... That, that's, the, that's the only tip I can give you, bro. The, 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 there's no magical... way around it. But like I said, when you when you go in like this and aim, the other thing you'll have to bear in mind later on, in particular, so something that threw me for a little while, 
Do you see how that reticule shrinks down? See that? I, I don't know how easy it is to see on the stream, but it's something you will really need to take into account. Uh, when you first pull the trigger, you're almost looking at about a second before it narrows it. You can still take a shot when it's um, when it's like that, you know, while it's still shrinking down, but you're just going to be less accurate. Yeah, I, th I think that's uh, that. I think you'll notice a big difference with that bender. Let, let's see, oh, dude. Let me just show you something. Let, let's just say that there is. Let's say that bush there is a, is a wolf, yeah. And let's just say that one over there is a wolf as well yeah so what you don't want to do is this you don't want to left trigger in take a shot and then still have your left trigger in scroll across and take another shot yeah you do not want to be doing that what you're going to want to be doing while, while you're playing about with it is this get it approximately near the wolf tap the left trigger and keep it down and it, it should zoom it in automatically to the wolf. So you've still got left trigger down. Take the shot. And then you must let go of the left trigger again. Move the camera around to the wolf coming up behind you. Even if you're here, press the left trigger in again. And it will start drifting the cursor towards the target again. And then take the shot. So it's all about letting go of the left trigger, dude. You know, if you're brand new to, to the controller, go into the settings, whack up auto aim as high as you can. Do that. At least it'll get you past the wolf bit, dude. Let us know how you get on, mate. If you're still struggling, come back and we'll, we'll see if there's anything else we can do for you. That's my girl. He said he likes his guns. Uh, that's why I was saying he'd he, uh, he love something like um, the Division or Ghost Recon Wildlands. He might even like Anthem. That's got that's got robots with guns, said he. Uh, you use you, you can use uh, Eagle Vision and have a dead eye from the beginning, so I thought it would be available. For I don't know, but I mean Bender's doing it, so presumably he hasn't got access to it. I, I didn't even realise I got dead eye until quite a little, quite a way into the story, I think, because I was expecting it to tell me a little bit about it, and it does eventually. I didn't realise I'd actually got it prior to that. Though. I think I accidentally clicked it, didn't I? I thought like, ooh, what's that all about? Yeah, I'm definitely going to check it out, uh, Sadie. Uh, at, at least, as in, I've got it on my watch list of games to keep uh, keep watching footage of prior to it releasing. I, I might not, I, I, you know, I'm certainly not going to pre-order it, but I'll definitely be there day one watching. Because it comes out around the very, very same time as The Division. Somebody in chat yesterday was talking about it. Now, I think The Division and Anthem come out like within two weeks or even the same week as one another. So, two very interesting... Um, yeah. High high octane action games, I guess. Uh, Division. I, I kind of like the the more. Well, they're both going to be squad play, but whereas one's more fantastical and robots and I suppose energy weapons and all the rest of it, and then you've got the Division, which which looks like a really gritty sort of much more realistic game, but. Um, It'd be interesting to see how they do the bosses. I mean, they did they made massive changes to the original The Division, didn't they? To, to get rid of that kind of bullet sponge enemy uh, issue that they had. You know, I had a lot of fun. A lot of fun with The Division. It's just a bit too pew pew ball and McGrew for, uh, for streaming all day, every day. It, it, even I was coming off the uh, stream with a bit of a... Bit of a Jesus Christ almighty, you know? It's a bit relentless at times. Especially when we were doing the farming. Because it, it's just like the whole point is just do it as fast as you can. Let's go and speak to the dude at the train station and see if we can unlock this uh, this second gentleman. I might even go and have a bath, actually. He's not had a bath for a while, has he? Need to sell the pelts as well. I, I, I'm thinking some of these are actually three-star pelts. I can't remember. <laughs> Let us know, Bender. Let us know. We, we can definitely sort you out, mate. And, and once you pass that, I, I think your your frustrations will be gone, and then you can actually start try, trying to get into again, the sir? complexities of it. 
Uh, huh. I've got no option to do anything, guys. Maybe it's like you said, Kresic. Maybe we'll get an icon. I don't think I've got any bangs. Is that up for you? I wonder if it's ours in chat. I don't, I don't know if you are, mate. Are you, Are you seeing you? As, as your bounties going, bro? <laughs> I'd love to see your bounties. I don't think Zar can contain himself with shooting innocents and uh, puppy dogs. Okay, girl. Doesn't look like there's anything here, does it? That was the right person to speak to, yeah? Let's head back, then. All the way down to our good friend Micah. Not a good friend at all, he's insane. Looking for, I'm gonna assume we do get to go back to Blackwater. Do not answer that in chat. Uh, how, much, how much money have you spent or how, what are your bounties? <laughs> I've been so careful because I don't like, don't like spending money on bounties, mate. Have I caught the last legend? I've only caught two, dude. We did one yesterday, we did one this morning. We'll try and do like one or two a day, as well as the animals as well. Yeah, I, I got the, the, the legendary bluegill yesterday. We got the legendary, uh, what, pike, basically. Pickle today. get run over by a train. I'm quite impressed. I'm getting better. I don't think there's much else coming out this year, is there? We've got, uh, I'm going to assume Battlefield still to come. Um, and, unless someone can tell me that's already out. I watched a little bit more of Shroud playing Black Ops. I st I still, uh, I, 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 yeah, I, can't see myself ever picking it up. Is anyone here playing the zombies mode? I was quite good because um, I, I I need to go back and watch James playing that on some of his vods. I didn't get a chance to watch him live. I think if, if there ever was going to be a Call of Duty that would sort of tempt me back, it would be this one. But uh, there's too many other games. Uh, I know I'd never spend any time with it. So, but I, I yeah, so I've done something uh, pretty cool with it this year. It's kind of strange actually because I noticed my um, my brothers were playing Red Dead 2, which I was very surprised at. You've only got a $10 bounty, was that it? <laughs> they do remember it, you know. They will, uh, the, the townsfolk will remember you in your uh, dastardly ways. See, persuade. Red Dead has taught you something. That sounds like a lot of wolves. I wonder what happens if we do do the jump to horse. Do, do you reckon the, uh, the individual main Does he fall off and break his neck? to stop you knocking him off, jumping on his horse, lassoing him, tying him up and lobbing him off a bridge. Oh, hang on a sec. Uh, where's my varmint rifle? I'm going to get that out in time, I'm not, am I? Where did that little rabbit go? Take some meat back from the, uh, the camp. Calm down, okay, girl. Calm down. Good work. Oh, take it out. Wait. Here. Yeah. 
Has anyone here managed to catch any of the Call of Cthulhu gang? I, I, I've literally seen like basically no real footage of it. Definitely see some deer over there, I think. Oh, they're foxes, aren't they? I saw a deer in the middle. Let's go, girl. I think. We'll, we'll find. We just gotta be careful we don't spook it. Oh my god, is that another rabbit? Oh, that is not a rabbit, dude. Oh, 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 stop, 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 Yep. Easy, whoa. Perfect. Today, girl. Very good haul. Switch back to the varmint. Just in case we see another bunny yep. rabbit on the way. That fog sweeping through is amazing, isn't it? The, I think the only thing I wish for would be it'd kind of nice if we had an area where. Or, or, or a way, maybe, through photo mode to manipulate the weather. Uh, that'd be kind of quite cool. Hello. Oh, there's a rabbit there. Take that instead. Keep me good, that's for sure. That dude. Got a deer, a turkey, and a rabbit. Girl. That's gonna make a lovely stew, that is, mate, I'll tell you. Yeah. Yo, oh, uh, hey mister! Remember me? Come on over. What's up, bro? What you found, How you doing today? Yeah, well, you see this here? American ginseng. Take a fella from not too bad to hardy as buck in no time. Really something. Yep, you don't find this every day. Dose this in your medicine, give it some zip. Believe me. Whatever you're selling, Anyway, I ain't, I ain't gonna use all of this, so feel free to help yourself to whatever's left. You take care now. Okay, cheers, dude. Mr. I do keep forgetting about the eagle oh, eyes. Uh, mister. You all called it. Because I've not really done a lot with the herbs, to be fair. Let's get out of here, both jangles. Let's get out of there. Okay, my girl. Yeah. Yeah, the, there's no filters, are there, with the camera mode, uh, is it? Which I was very surprised at, actually. We were talking about the Sekia yesterday when we were in the... Uh, well, we'd just come through the Bayou area. We, we, we deviated to go and see Black Bell. So, some amazing screenshots yesterday. I didn't get a chance to get them uh, put up because I was out and about. Yeah, there's a girl. There. Girl. Oh, 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 careful. Jesus. Yeah. It's me, Karen. Woohoo! Hey, Arthur. Hey. All good out here? I think so, but... Well, I don't know. I thought I heard something. Thought you heard something. Probably not. Yeah. All right, where's my okay. mate? Okay. Uh, Stay alert. Any sign of trouble, you shoot first. Pew, pew, bottom of the groove. Uh, donate. 
Right, you can have... Um, I'm gonna, I might keep the prime beef, actually. You can have the rabbit. Okay, then. The deer. And the turkey. We got one animal fat. Thank hmm. you, Arthur. Pearson, why won't you tell me about your trapper friend, mate? Tell me about Good it. Good morning. Why are you being so horrible to me? Damn it, Pearson. Damn it, Pearson. Oh, you cheeky monkey. Good morning, Pixie. How are you doing, mate? Did you have a nice Friday? You've actually got a $230 bounty. Is that because you've just done something or you misread it? I, I had a $10 bounty, which turned out to be a $130 bounty. So it said 10 on the map, and then, and then it suddenly decided it was actually 130 I think. You're right, Graystrom. You need to do a second playthrough with Call of Cthulhu. But you're playing... Oh, so you've actually played it, Graystrom. What were your thoughts? The only way I can describe it uh, in, in terms of feedback on the forums has been just extremely lackluster. Like, no one's sort of, like, turned around and says, like, it's an absolute, you know, steaming turd. No one's said that there's anything particularly fascinating about it either. It, it just seems to be kind Morning, of, well, it's, it's a game, and you can play it, and you won't hate it. But you also ain't exactly going to be singing its praises. It, it just seems to have come, <sighs> released, and been forgotten Morning, already. Arthur. What's, uh, what's your take on it as soon as you've actually finished it? Quite, quite rare to get a Cthulhu game, isn't it? Good morning, James. How you doing, bro? Yeah, well, I think that, to be honest, mate, I mean, I think it's only really uh, Lovecraft fans that have bothered with it, to be honest. So, it's them that I'm talking about. They just seem to have sort of just, yeah, you know, it, it's all right. You know, nothing breathtaking. It, it, it'll do, but, I mean, I don't know how much it is. Is it a full retail game? I'm guessing it is, like, 40-odd quid, is it? Yeah, exactly. So it's an Basically, it's an RPG, really, isn't it, from what I understand? More like um, uh, 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 well, like a, almost like a Who Done It RPG murder. Well, not obviously murder. I, I won't say too much. Obviously, um, mystery, thriller, Cthulhu RPG style game, isn't it? Um, Micah. Micah. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes... I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but... We got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen, yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You've gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. A long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. 
Ah, I've mm. got that the wrong way around. As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. I thought Col Madrisco had killed. Ah, that's interesting. I actually I got that completely arse over boob. Uh, well, it sounds like you enjoyed it, sir, Grace. That's, that's good. Let's go then. Right, Valion. I'm all right, thank you, mate. How are you doing, bro? Let me get everything set up because I'm going to assume we're going into fairly extended fight. Do we need to take the rolling block or not? It's nice to be riding with Dutch. Here's my beauty Karen up here, look. You all right, you know, Karen? I've been fighting Colm for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. I'm just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us? Because of Blackwater? And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army? Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll? There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look. You ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den. With you to cover us, hmm? Okay, just keep calm, unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. Oh, thank As you very much, Dutch. I. The lovely area, power. Hey, up there, men on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll the shadows might birds. be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense, too, but it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? <sighs> I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. All right, cowpoke. You're going to peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Oh, thank you, Grace. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. <laughs> I still need to pray. Right, pray, right. mate. <laughs> However, this Thanks takes out. Let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Yep. 
Yeah, because well, you, you highly recommended Prey, didn't you, Greystraw? I think you... Uh, was it Fist who played it as well? I know a few of you played uh, Prey. It felt like it was uh, an exceptionally good game. It's one of those very strange games that released, got, got critically panned, and then everybody changed their mind about it about three weeks later. We're fine here. Go find a spot to keep an eye on us from up there somewhere. Oh, there. Up there? How the hell am I getting up there, dude? Easy now. Go to the observation point. Well, I can't climb up there, can I? Let's see if we can uh, get there around there. Oh, I'll have a look, Greystrom. Thank you very much, sir. I'll, I'll dig around, find out a little bit about it, and see, uh, see what we think, dude. Thank you. Just, just having a quick look at your uh, little wall attacks there, Valiant. What was that you've... Uh... There's no way I'm getting around there, is there? What the hell? Did I come back from the other side, do you think? Yeah. Uh, so you're actually in a bit of a bad mood about uh, Red Dead. You went to the store to buy a new revolver and kited it out with all the cool stuff. I uh, kitted it out with all the cool stuff and engravings, etc. Um, get out of the weapon shop to look at it, and it's the stock gun. You go to your saddle and look to see if I need to equip, equip it again to see but nothing. So on a chance, I pull out the worn gun. And somehow all the expensive upgrades have been forced onto the worst version of the gun by some glitch. Oh, wow. You're meant to be looking out for us. Now go on. Sorry, I'm trying to get up there, dude, and I don't know whether or not uh, I can just clamber up there. So I might be able to get up there, mate. Uh, am I going to need to take the rolling block? Shall I take, shall I take the, um, the fancy rolling block? <laughs> I think I'm getting up there, am I? Oh, I am. Cool. That's, uh, that's some vantage point. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Let's have a quick look at what the uh, range is like. Pretty good, I reckon. Pretty good. Need to remember with this one, I can use Deadeye, but I need to... Don't go near the edge, Grim. I ended very badly yesterday. We, we can go Deadeye, take a shot, then come back out, can't we? Dennis Love Prey did he pick, so yeah, I um I've heard oh well check the uh check the Eagles out. Damn, that's not an eagle, is it? That that's uh like a buzzard. Vulture. Yeah. I won't shoot it because uh Too much noise. How much money do you think you lost, uh, Valiant? Can I actually hear rocks tumbling down, like little pebbles. It's gonna be so bad with this rolling block. <sighs> Should have saved. Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, there's a charismatic leader. Uh-oh. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. 
Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Oh, damn. I heard pebbles earlier as well. I reckon someone was clambering up. <laughs> Hello, sugar. <laughs> you ain't dead, is you? <laughs> Not dead. Oh. Oh. Hey. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> What's up for it? I don't know. Colin's got a sense. <clears throat> Handing him over to the law. It's, I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella yeah. Colum's right, we can draw them all back. True. Where'd Colum and Patrick head off to? In a town, I think, to speak to the law. <laughs> that has to be crap. It ain't <clears throat> worth the risk. <clears throat> Colum's got a sick. He's escaping. Shoot him. Relax. Relax. I got him. I got him. Oh, shit. Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. Uh, not yet. But I will. <laughs> oh. Finally, what is weapons over there? Oh dear, this is not good. <laughs> You're right, Sandox. I meant to see you there, mate. How's things? Arthur Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <laughs> How's Woo? I hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Septic. Nice. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Uh, why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. Uh, it's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point cabin. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached true. Let me go, Cole. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it. They get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Oh, Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. It's gonna be some busted ribs. I've never played it like on. Hey, if it's free, it's free, mate. Go for it. I'm sure you'll get some uh, some fun out of it, mate. Hello, George. You 
can swing. I like a bit of swinging. Go that way a little bit, and that way a little bit. Oh, look at this. He's not, he's not swinging the way I want him to go. Swing right, swing left, swing right. Swing left. Oh, oh. Getting Tomb Raider vibes. Oh, here we go. Oh, you missed it, you knobber. Jesus. Jesus, no way, dude. I don't know if I want to do that, to be honest. Oh, what the hell? Three throwing knives. Causal mullet. We've got nothing. Okay. Alright. Uh no, on you. Alright. Let's do this. Let's do What's this, Arthur. Doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. <laughs> the area on a horse. Right, I'm going to circle back around and see if we can find a... There's horses over there, look. Shit, there's a dude there. Shit. Careful, mate. Careful, careful. Shit balls, shit balls, shit balls, shit balls, shit balls. Uh, stealth kill? Balls, cheese balls, cheese balls. I don't know if to take some more out. Get closer to that. That's my horse. There's both jangles. Look. Oh shit, dicks. What the fuck? Did you see that then? Did you actually see that then? It's like there's a dude on a wall. I don't want to take the last dude out. Is he in there or is he around the back? There's another dude there. I think you have to be standing up to shoot these things. You know? What's going what on the here? hell, Is dude? I need some practice with those throwing knives, man. That is really weird. He keeps lobbing it over his head. <laughs> oh my god, I would I would have gone. I wouldn't have recovered my weapons. Holy balls. I, I, I nearly just went on the horses. Oh nice dude. Um we don't want to spring. Oh hang on, hang on. 
That's not all my guns. But that's because they'll be on. I don't know where it's going to take that dude out over there, to be quite honest with you. How the hell does throwing knives work? Like, one, he has to stand up, but I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, just leave it, to be honest. Driscoll's are patrolling the roads, so alright, let me switch out to my... Um, thank you for the follow, uh, Sammy. Tell me all my guns are still there. They all look like they're there, don't they? So if I also take out the pump action. Um, I'll tell you what, let's just very quickly have something to eat. And let's switch to my outfit. Man's got to feel good, right? If he looks good, he feels good. If he feels good, he's a dangerous man. What the hell? What the hell? Who's this? Who's this? Why, 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 why is my gun not out? Why is my gun not out? Oh my god, why is he not? Oh my god, he's all over the place. He can't shoot for shit. What the hell's happening? He can't shoot. Did he pull out? It's definitely the Lancaster. It's definitely the Lancaster. Loaded? Whoa, what is happening? Why why can't he do anything? I can't I can't I can't I can't enter into Dead Eye or anything. This is just all the controls have stopped working. What what the what, seriously, what the fuck is the matter with the game? None of my buttons are working. Uh, I'm gonna put a window in your skull. What the f fudge is going on? I can't dead eye. I can't do shit. This is this is terrible, Rockstar. This is the worst mission ever. What is going down? It's got it's got to be something wrong with my control. Nothing's working, dudes. Am I supposed to run? Is he, is he like not battle ready? Is, is the game like literally just not letting me shoot? Give me home. Is it because he's like all busted ribs and things? It should it should tell me that. I'm, I'm, you know, I wanted to. Jesus, that's awful. That's awful, Roxanne. That's terrible. Zero out of ten for that, mate. Zero out of ten. Absolutely piss poor, mate. Should have just not let me get my weapons. Should, should have just let me just ride and then made it clear. It's, uh, otherwise, it just makes mockery of it. That's awful. Zero out of ten for that. Set piece. Worst set piece in the go. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. My dear boy, what? He got me. Uh, I got away. Yeah, yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. What happens if you don't get your stuff out of the uh, tent Mr. as well? Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. Uh, uh, oh. What if you lose now, your weapons? I'd, I'd like to try that again now. You're safe now. Yeah, that's pretty. Tough. That's real pretty. It's not that's our pixie. The, the game didn't tell us that. It just, it just, it just feels awful. 
You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. Really poorly done for Rockstar, that. You're home. No, it wasn't about... No, you, you, again, you, you're not understanding what I'm saying, Kevlar. Nothing to do with staying around. All, all my buttons... It, it's not that I couldn't... It, all the buttons just weren't working. It, it's just like when, when I fired, he wouldn't fire. Uh, it, it, it needs to say something. It, what, why give him my guns? What... Essentially, what the game's doing is it's saying, okay, here's all your guns, here's your horse, here's, your, here's all your stuff back, you're now battle ready again. Get out of there and do it. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite just, just yet, really shit. Just crap, basically. Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well... Take care of yourself. If I hadn't stayed around, I would have got my steer out of the lock of Kevlar. So that, that's a bit of a, a contradiction what you're saying there, mate. I might have lost my weapons that were in the store box. <sighs> just, just very poorly uh, planned out. But, you know, I suppose they can't get everything right. It just felt... Just felt just felt like we'd uh, we'd woken up, we'd managed to do the old quarterization, old Arthur's being a badass. I mean, look at him now, you know, 30 seconds, well, three days or whatever it is. It, it should have just said you are, you know, if it just said like you're not battle ready, you know, be really careful getting out of here. Uh, it would have made more sense. But because I could shoot, I mean, it was letting me shoot. It just, it was like mega delayed or shooting like miles off where I was trying to shoot. And that makes sense, you know, like you said in chat, you know, he's got a concussion and all the rest of it. But, you know, fucking tell us, man. You know, t tell us the score. I think sometimes they throw us into these things without, uh... If he's going to let me shoot and then the shot's missing, I start thinking, shit, is... I actually thought shit is my controller. I, I literally moved my controller over towards the bloody Wi-Fi dongle thinking, shit, something's gone wrong here. Good morning. Right, um, crafting upgrades. Crafting upgrades, uh, we'll leave that. Uh, so hang on, let's see what missions we've got. Yeah, that, that, that was a, that was a zero out of ten mission. Zero out of ten, Rockstar. I'd rather, I'd, to be honest, what they could have done there would have been a really nice stealth section. Um, forget the horse and everything. I, actually, I tell you what, I need to practice the one thing I, I'm mad at, and that's got to be down to me. Throwing knives. How the hell do throwing knives work? I mean, it's ever so weird. Like, for a start, even if you're crouched, he stands up. So, surely, right, the throwing knives are supposed to be a stealth weapon? Um, why the fuck would he stand up to throw the knife? <laughs> Isn't that kind of, like, completely defeated the purpose of it? I'll go and check it and make sure it's not me being a, a dickhead with a, with, a, with a control scheme. But every time I went to... Uh, throw a knife, he, he got up off his ass and sort of like waged his DGBD pants out. Sort of like, look at me, I'm over here, bro. You are Wentex. How you doing, mate? How's things? What you got planned for the weekend, bro? Are you, uh, are you all free from work? You don't have to work the weekends at Apple, do you, mate? Yeah, that was a bit of shit, to be honest, Pixie. That was a bit of shit. The whole thing felt very contrived as well. You know, I'm, I'm I'm not one to pick up on things like this in games normally, suspension of disbelief and all that. But that whole thing felt like it was done by some amateur uh, game designer. You know, I, I'm doing the swinging thing because they rather conveniently left the lockpick on the table along with a candle and a single shotgun slug. The whole thing. Uh, it wasn't just the getting away. The whole thing was just like, really just like, oh, come on, Rockstar, really. Yeah. It does make me wonder how, because they said, um, this is, they've said it's about a 60 hour game, haven't they? Give or take. And uh, Mr. House, Dan House was saying they cut out about uh, what do I want? I want some oats, don't I? Cut out something like uh, six plus hours of content, didn't they? It would be really nice if maybe one day that they show us what they cut out. Um, and it was cut out for, for multiple reasons, but the main ones being either because they 
technically they didn't feel they could get it up to the standard of the rest of the game. So they must have been trying to do some pretty awesome set pieces or something that they just couldn't get the flow of or couldn't get the AI to work or something. Um, or also it didn't fit with the narrative, the narrative flow of the game. So it does make me wonder, you know, six hours, six, six hours worth of content. It's a lot of content to cut, isn't it? You know, that's 10% of your game. You've literally carved out and said, no, it's not going to make the final edit. Um, it'd be really nice, wouldn't it, to be a, a, a behind-the-scenes sneaky peek or something, all right? Let's just have a little look at these uh, throwing out of the damn way. Uh, just a hunter. The trouble is, is uh, I don't think you can pick them back up, can you? Should we see if we can find a log or something? Or a tree, maybe? Oh, I mean loads. Let me go and have a look at these. I keep forgetting I've got all my Molotovs and things as well when I'm in a fire. We've got quite a little arsenal, haven't we, at our disposal? Right, throwing knife. So let, let me just let me just see. See if I do that and then I do that. He does, he fucking stands up. What a dickhead. <laughs> Why would you do that? Isn't it, you can throw a throwing knife from the crouch position, surely, look. Yeah, you can't, you can't, right, as soon as you, as soon as you click the right trigger, look, he's like, hello, yeah, I'm in stealth mode, but I'm just gonna, I'm just, let, hang on, stay there, mate, I'm just gonna shoot this right in your face, mate, right in your Fanny Adams, bro. Oh, I know what I was doing wrong. Uh, it's the same issue I've had, so that's my fault. We, um, that's deadly accurate. Oh, I wasn't letting the reticule settle down. I was just, I was just thinking it was just a, oh, shit, I can't get that, can I? Chucked it too high. <laughs> Do you reckon I could, can I jump and get it? <laughs> Give me my bloody knife back, bloody knobber. Yeah, that's weird why he stands up, doesn't it? Yeah, I know what I was doing. I was doing this, look, check it out. So if I go, I was thinking it's a throwing knife. So you, you, can't, you kind of target and do that. Oh, he's doing it now. Oh, uh, okay. You do it really fast. Chow, chow, chow. Oh, that's weird. So maybe you don't. Maybe you can just tap it then. I like doing that. I might do that for a little bit. <laughs> they cut out a six to ten hour love story. It, it, well, is that? It's, it wasn't just the the um, the love interest, though, was it? It was. It was only uh, an element of the uh, edited content. Yeah. Second romantic plot. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but it wasn't that wasn't a whole six hours. There was much more to it than that. Yeah, that 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 whole that whole yeah. section there was uh, was ever so strange. Ever so strange. Let's go and see who we're after then. Oh, I was, I was really panicked though. I was really worried. Like I said, I, I even lifted my controller up in case the, the wireless signal had suddenly got all, all janky or something. <laughs> right, Mr. Bill Williamson. What you got going on, bro? You've been waiting for you, Arthur. Sorry, well, man. Just uh, checking his throwing knowledge, bro. Come on. Let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what about board in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so? Yeah, they think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these Grey Boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying the Catherine Braithwaite. Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. 
Now it don't feel right. I could have told you that. Oh, sure, no! Get down! Not sure. Oh, no, 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 no. I believe, why is it giving me the bolt action rifle? Oh, thank you for that. Oh no, not my mate, Shorty McShorty. Start picking up the dude. We'll find him later. Come on. I hope Sean's uh Gray! You need to get a hold on this town. I hope, I hope Sean ahead. went down just as, as quickly as it looked like he went down. That is an awesome fight, that is. That is really good fun though. Really good fun. So anyway, Wentex, I've got a bone to pick with you. How long have you known about Diablo Immortal being a mobile game? Or did you not actually know? This is the Grey's town. Always has been, always will be. Only Grey's I see left around here is you. That is, that was awesome. I don't know whether to uh, just loot all the bodies, man. You get quite a lot of... Uh, or we're coming in. I don't want to get too after close to the tree. After you, we'll go after the others. Your women, your children, we'll bleed them all out one by one. Are you out of your goddamn mind? We can still hear him, so we won't miss any dialogue. What was I supposed to do back there, by the way? Was I supposed to, uh, was I supposed to, like, shoot him and clamber in through the window? Or was I actually supposed to be waiting for Bill to bust the door down? 
Because I, 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 I tried the door and I couldn't get in. So I thought, oh, there's an open window. And then I realised there was a dude in the window. And um, I ducked into cover to try and get down. So I could try and switch over to the shotgun, which I don't think I've got anyway. So, so that would have been a disaster. And um, next thing I know, Bill's busted the door open. That's definitely Sean there, isn't it? It's, oh, Shawnee, Shawnee, Shawnee. Oh, man. You want us to come out? We're coming Bust me out as well. Oh, Bill. Guns on the ground now. Oh, no. Both of you. Don't you know what's going to happen it. here, don't you? No, we can't do that. You put the gun down, Chef. I'll blow his brains out. You want to join your little friend there, do jewel. you? Either way, Slow -mo. you're a dead man. Morgan? Holy shit. Oh, shit. Uh... Can I get them all? I can, actually. I thought he was going to take the two on the right. I had plenty of time. Shit. Nice. Thank you for the follower, uh, Valhuru. Sean! I like Sean! I know. Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. That was a really fun fight. Mark, just yeah. that one cock up. You and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. <laughs> pair of fools. Get out of my sight. Yeah, that was a really fun fight. That made up for that uh, weird section we just had. Um, yeah, really good fun. Really good fun. Wasn't too bad with the chambering there either. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. What do you mean his death was epic? He got shot in the face by a sniper. You can't get any less epic than that. <laughs> what was epic about Sean's death? <laughs> he didn't leap in front of a bullet meant for Arthur or do some heroic leap to a train to stop it or... Or, 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 or tear some TNT with his bare teeth and go in guns blazing, did he? he? He was walking along the street and got shot in the face, bro. <laughs> that was the worst way possible for Sean to die. Sean should have gone out in style, man. Couple of sticks of TNT up his ass. One up each nostril. His twin pistols blazing as he ran at the, uh, ran at the bloody Driscoll Brothers gang. Screaming, yeehaw! <laughs> one minute he was sitting there having a right old chin wag, the next minute his brains were sitting on the pavement. Poor Sean. That is no way for Sean to end. Poor fella. Poor, poor Sean. We loved you like a brother, mate. We loved you indeed. Best voice actor in the game, actually. Very well done. Apparently, Pixie dug it out. Apparently, he's actually a Dubliner. Putting on a bit of a, bit, a, bit of a thick Irish uh, scrawl there. Right, we... Um, that, that, that was good fun. That was a, a wicked little uh, race through town there. So many dudes. So many people to shoot. I like it when we get, um, always reminds me of some of the best westerns, you know, when they have the, because it used to be about some of the, uh, the falling stunts back then, didn't it? You know, we, we'd all seen the, you know, he was the fastest draw, but you know, when you, um, see Clint or someone shoot the dude that's actually upon the roof and they slide off the roof and, uh, fall onto the floor. But back in the days where it was all actual ladies and gents actually falling into cardboard boxes or things and, uh, 
Not, none of this CGI and malarkey and ropes and invisible wires. Just straight off, literally falling off a goddamn building into a couple of uh, Ikea boxes. <laughs> You're right, Pete. How you doing, bro? Uh, Activision is celebrating the PC release of Destiny 2 by offering the game free for a limited time. Yeah, I was I, actually it's really interesting you say that went text, because that that's what uh, that, that's what surprised me was that um that, that, that it, it was kind of like the the big reveal, you know, for a mobile game at a BlizzCon event like that, which has always been so focused around the PC fan base. It, it just made no sense. It doesn't surprise me you say that uh, something was cut from that. Shame. It's a shame. But, you know, I'm sure it'll be a fantastic game. I'm sure there'll be millions of people making it. And I'm sure it'll make uh, Blizzard a hell of a lot of money. Hey, right, things for you, Pete. You're right, bro. What's that, Afka? Glasgow Rangers. It's, wait, it's the self forsaken DLC. Oh, is that what they're uh, doing it free, is it? So is it, is it, it's not free for the next two weeks. Oh, the game's free for a limited... So if you, if you get it now in the glass, and that's it. It's free, free. Forever, it's, it's not just like a two week demo, no? Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Yep. Certainly will, yeah. uh. I, I think all, all the, the only thing we can take away from BlizzCon this year is that next year's will have to be like the greatest BlizzCon in the history of BlizzCons because even Blizzard must be pretty... It's, it's not going to affect them. Yeah, they're, they're not going to be sitting there thinking, shit, we're not going to make any money out of this, no one likes it. Uh, it's just going to upset a few fans, that, that's all. People that probably would never have played a mobile game anyway and, and don't care and then just feel like shit, you know? all the hype and you know got nothing of interest really but uh i should imagine what will happen next year is they blow us away won't they everybody is doing all they can try and make amends to the fan base for it as things mcglashan arthur have you seen that boy jack uh -oh. <laughs> Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Uh -oh. Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. No. Oh, Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite, boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail. You have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch! We just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange high. turns up, Can we not have you a, kill like a... Rest of you, let's ride. A good, I, I feel like we should be down in the saloon. Drinking okay, let's for go Sean. get that boy back. Yeah. Sean should, should be having, like, the... the a good Irish wake, mate. What's going down here, bro? I'll tell you what, if you ain't lying down the saloon, I'm going to sleep. We to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. Screw it, Jack. We need a whiskey. <laughs> I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. And if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. What a we pussy. underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. Oh, this is where thanks, we are. Pixie. And we are going to fix it. So come on. Would everyone raise a, a Grubodian glass of whiskey for Sean? 
Poor Sean. We loved you. We loved you, son. We loved you. Okay. Hang on. Let me just make sure I've got what I want. Keeps giving me this bloody bolt action rifle. I must admit that's something that really, really annoys me about the set pieces. Um, it kind of forces you into taking certain weapons. It makes sense if you've got to do sniper action to force you into... Where is my... There it is. Yeah, it's forced me to use the rolling right. block, but... Nobody makes a move until I say so. Music is awesome. Look at the badass Vandalin gang. We're coming right, for you. Everyone, dismount and come to me. We'll go in on foot from here. First Sean, now Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? <sighs> I don't think so. Uh, oh, doesn't that look wicked? That ah! Ah. Who steals a goddamn boy? Screenshot. I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches. John, I need you to stay calm. The Vandalin gang. Look at that. The boys. Get down here now, you inbred trash. <laughs> what the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this... Do it, Arthur! Give us a hand! Barricaded! This must be where they hold up! <laughs> There's something. 
What's going on, Dutch? Shit! John! Arthur! We'll hold it down here! We got more coming in! Arthur! Get out there! We got this door covered! Grab the rifle by the chair! So much fun, it is just ridiculous. I can't see a goddamn thing. One, two, three. Woo! Wah! Bit slow, bit slow, but. Where's the boy? boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son! Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. What about down? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. Let me go see what the gun was outside. That's right. Burn this dump. Oh, it's not gonna let me, is it? It said there was something about a gun down here, didn't it? Can't move any faster. <laughs> there we go. You got that one, Arthur? That's the end of the Oh, 
I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are liquor. off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. I told you it was Saint Denis, not Saint Denis. <laughs> Not sure I got that in time. That was amazing. That was amazing. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but... Looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? The boy will be fine. But, well, of course, Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors, a solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Mm -hmm. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... <laughs> this is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing... it's done. This place... ain't no such thing. It's civilized. It's man. So in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'll be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. Hmm. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. 
This is spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need to start off. It's the, the pace is just it's, it's like a roller coaster ride at the minute, isn't it? Follow me. I know the way. Shady Bell. We know Shady Bell. Better. Didn't we have a massive um, shoot up at Shady Bell? We did, didn't we? It's gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drove right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, sure. Davey, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run, but we'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up, and rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. Anyway, you were saying? Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought, That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. Damn. Watch out. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. I was trying to pace that so we could listen to everything John was going to say. But uh, I, think, I think we just cut him off at the, uh, the end, didn't we? That's a shame. About to tell us about his time up the mountain. Sean. Can't believe Sean's gone. Brains splattered all across the sand. Yeah. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. This is where we had the big fight with all the TNT, wasn't it? Uh, was it with Lenny, I think? Was it Lenny? Yeah, it was. Can you just tell me to leave the horses here, mate? Oh, shit! It's them again! Damn it! Still some here! I can see that! You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here.
No mucking about there, was there? What's that? Put a, what's that? Put a dead eye on the potato. <laughs> I hope no, you're no, not no. calling uh, our good Irish lad Sean a potato. Sean the potato. So we're going to we're somehow going to blend Sean into a potato aim. Potato aim emo. <laughs> That's terrible, my lashes. You fools should have left when you had the chance. You know what? I think I'm going to go for the old pistol. I hardly use the pistol. What the hell is it you want? Sorry, boys. This is ours now. I just see someone down there, though. I can hear the, uh, the creep. Any more of you upstairs? I was coming for you. You hear me? Come at me. I dare you. Didn't you get the message last time? Just let me, uh... <clears throat> Where are you creeps hiding? Four uh, shots with this thing, haven't I? I knew you'd come soon enough. You are some of the coward like you. The bounty hunters, the freedmen, the carpet beggars, the army of criminals who stole our land and our government. Uh. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. Jesus. Wow. How's it looking up there? Looking well, pretty good. That's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. <laughs> good. Come help me with this, will you? <laughs> I like the way you said that. Didn't even, didn't even have to shoot the last one, bro. Oh, it's because I'm trying to loot him, isn't it? I thought I was trying to loot the uh, table. Gold nuggets. Ooh. A gold nugget indeed, you doodle peedles. Uh, we better just switch out to the normal sort of shotgun shells, I think. Uh, break the lock. Oh no, don't, don't break the lock. Oh, that was, it was back to use my uh, lock picker thingy, wasn't he? <sighs> nearly, used, nearly used my lock breaker. What are you doing, Arthur? Oh no, I didn't. I better not have just done that. Calm your knickers, John. Calm your knickers, mate. Uh, let's just make sure we've not missed anything. Doesn't look like it, does it? Is that two dudes that were in the, that room there? Such a cool animation. Head clean off, mate. 
There's nothing here, is there? Bit of ammo, something on the table. Possibly. I wasn't full. Oh, thank you for the follower, Fuel Gaming. Cheers, me dears. Dude, there's a bit of dynamite there we could have, uh... Hang on, I'll tell you what I will do. Let's come into here. Um... Damn, that was dirty, bro. Oh, blimey, that, that was about as bad as it can get. Because I didn't persuade do like a potato, uh... <laughs> A potato aim thing once for one of the uh, the comps that we had. Poor Sean. Can't believe Sean's dead, actually. If I was to put money on characters dying, Sean would not have been up there. Here. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Oh, yeah, because they're squeamish, isn't they? Follow me. Alright, this way. We'll dump the in the swamp over there. Uh, the biggest... I've got the... Do you, do you mean the saddlebags or do you mean the satchels? I've not really done the satchels. I've got one of them. And I can't remember which one that is, mate. Like the herbivore one. Oh, sorry, not herbivore. Herbs one, sorry. Um, no, I've, I've hardly touched the saddles. I've still, I've only done two legendary fish and I think three legendary animals at present. There's a crocodile there. Gators will be eating well today. Okay, I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You gonna meet up with the caravan, guide them in. All right, see you soon. I hope. They are terrifying, aren't they? Things. Lady Gab, I got eaten by a croc yesterday, didn't I? Nibble me bunny, did. You're right, Corkska. It's a very good game, Corkska. It is a very good. And um, I had my first mission that I thought was a bit bleh earlier. Um, it, it threw a bit of a curveball at me. But other than that, I, I can honestly say it, it's not dropped so much as a heartbeat, mate. It's been it's been flawless. It is. Uh, it's a very good game, mate. Just get the the only thing I'll say, Corkska. Just it depends on what other games you like, dude. Uh, or, or perhaps I should say, depends on what sort of game you're looking for. I mean, it, it is, at times, a game that you, you, you're going to get the most out of it if you're taking your time with it and really poking around. But there's a lot of areas on the map, for example, that you don't really get told to go there. But there's a lot to explore and a lot to discover. And um, if you're the sort of person that likes to take your time with things... You know, feeding your horse, cleaning your horse, going and having a bath or a shower so you don't stink, cleaning your weapons, and... Oh, dude, that's terrible. <laughs> we'll, we'll sort that out in a minute. Uh, I, I guess that's when you're going to get the most out of the game. However, as I've seen today, if you literally just go from set piece to set piece to set piece... Jeez, it, it, it's, it's just... Oh, hang on, I've actually got to get rid of that one first, have I? It's, um... So well done, dude. Uh, and it just, I mean, the, the game itself is worth, I mean, for someone like myself, it's worth the price of entry just visually. That's more like it. Here comes the Vandaling boys and girls. Welcome home, all you, to uh, my humble abode. We got That's what I just wanted, yeah. 
You know the corpses in the alligators you are in paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. That horse. Torch? Yes. Torch. Can I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Torch. Can you believe that girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. That was cool, that, that like abandoned factory there, wasn't it? Sandini. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Damn. Big Didn't we city. see the industrial side, did yeah. we? Always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure oh, geez, out. Jeez, I'm terrified yes. of this. This place just looks like crazy huge, doesn't it? So is this chapter four, do you think? It's gotta be right. You'll have a lot of fun with it, Corksa, honestly, mate. I mean, I, 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 the first stream I did was like 15 hours, and, and I, I came out of that just... Oh, yeah, we don't need that. Um, yeah, I, I came out of it with so many questions about, you know, what, what we could, couldn't do, etc. So it looks like we've got to go to these, well, at least these two saloons, I would have thought. I think, well, what's this here? Or a bounty poster. Ooh. I've really enjoyed the bounties in this actually. I've still got pelts with me. We really do be finding somewhere to leave the horse. Would you mind getting out of the way there? Ah, uh, no, top of the morning to you, like. Oh, aye. Top of the morning. Top of the morning to you, laddie. How do you do, sir? I do very well, thank you, my good friend. I'm looking for Gavin. You're right, Sunny Eva. How you doing? He left. Wonder if Bendigo is uh, his wounds. I mean, I lost him. Can you believe that? Someone must have seen an Englishman. Do English you book. mind? Really funny, he is. <laughs> uh, you can speed this one up to, to be honest, um, Kevlar. I, I can almost double the speed of this if, if I actually didn't hate all the stirrups that, that it forces me to use. And to be honest, I haven't had a single mission 
Okay, move it already. Where the slow speed of the horse has made any difference. Uh, I think all the set pieces are such. Uh, I don't even know why that no matter what horse you've got, it doesn't put you at any advantage or disadvantage. So I really wouldn't worry about it too much, mate. I have actually got a thoroughbred, haven't I? Uh, maximum speed. What was that dude? Did you see that policeman chasing him there? Sugar. Oh, what the hell? Stick him up, cowboy. Who the hell's that? That's a nice gun. <laughs> Dutch, yeah. you know. Hey, real funny, Dutch. <laughs> oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. Um. Hello, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Funny Lord. Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Le Moines for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that, that's why we love Over it. Born here. and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Uh, Not it's going to be a lot of that, away. is it? <laughs> Every year they say that's going to happen. It ain't happened yet. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Sure. That's the real stuff. From Scott. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look. I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big. Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find them? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. It's in the alley. Oh, and friend, you, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Okay, right. So, I'm gonna guess that's around the back where that policeman just chased that little, uh... Good morning to you. Uh, good morning, sir. Damn, so many, uh, so much detail in it all. What are you thinking? Are you talking about Destiny 2, Sandy? It looks very lovely, doesn't it? I have a lovely, uh, a lovely glass of it's red really wine. It's really become quite the craze. So you just walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Yes. And then after 24 men find any married person, male or female, wearing a wedding ring, turn that ring twice, and then the next man you shake hands with will become your husband. What nonsense. Don't take my word for it then. Hi there. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh, yeah. Just through that archway there. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, 
Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll oh, take no, you no, 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 deep behind you. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where does he live, New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Is he he's pick, picking my pockets, dude? That's a bad brand. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? He's just totally nicked my money. Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Did you just nick my money? Did he just nick money from me? He was pro he was either checking out my ass or he was checking out my then? satchel. Mm, you better watch it, kids. You just better watch it. Come on. You want to see Bronte or not? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. We know the doctor. He cuts That's people's Baron arms Schreiber off. on the right there. <laughs> Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine. Oh, Jesus, boss, it's just there. I told you. I bloody told you. I bloody told you. Where's the little dickhead? Go oh, man. I'll kill you, thieving bastard. Ah, oh, dude. That's a lot of money, bro. Get it by a tramp. Go and splat him a little. Oh, God damn it, dude. Naked. Where's he going? Left or right? Should we cut across? I'm being by the idiot. So I, I don't know if to knock someone off the horse. Nice, oh you my god, you right got all my goddamn money, dude! Bastard got off. I'm so tempted right, to shoot him. It's unbelievable, mate. You up to that kid? How the shit went that way? Thanks for the help, friend. You know, I kind of miss old Bob Tales. Where's... Oh, shit, Mickers. Ain't you tired yet, old man? Hey! Moron! Uh, let me just, uh... Bye, mister! <laughs> no! Oh, you poor soul! Just give it up, farm boy! Ah, God damn it! Come on, run like the goats got loose! You give that back! Are you mad? Ah! Don't you have yeah. pigs to Jesus. feed? This is your last warning, boy. My Little fool. Oh, sorry, mate. Shit. Where's he gone, little bastard? Good morning to you. I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. Stands for when? Since forever. I, I read it in the newspaper. Oh, so it must be true. God, he's just got all my freaking money. There he is, there he is. Oh, jeez. God, that slips on the apples, mate. Ah, oh, bish bash. Ooh, that little kid's a clever son of a gun. Oh, fur, fur, jeez. That's it, straight through the freaking fence, mate.
I need you not. God damn it, John. Oh. What's the problem, friend? Dicks. Give me my thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, come on. You new in town, mister? Uh-huh. Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, I can he's give got him fine diamond. hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. Oh. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. Got him a money back. I was proper stressed then. I was proper stressed. I actually thought I was going to lose all my money. I was like legit terrified I was going to boff that. Holy crumbs. This game gets under your skin like nothing else. You have a nice bit of fish. Jeez. Right. Lesson learned as well. I can't save the game yet. <laughs> Bully 2 looks amazing. Oh. What, did we, did you all shoot the kid? Did you actually shoot the kid? Seriously, did some of you do that? Surely not. You, you wouldn't shoot a kid in the back running away from you, would you? You bloodthirsty animals. You're right, Johnny Gates. Uh, how are you liking the game? You're on chapter two and loving it. I've, ju I've just literally just started chapter four, dude. And uh, I have to say that the, the pace of the game over the last hour or so has just it just gone insane, mate. It's uh, very interesting. Is this one of these dudes that's gonna get up and like? Go get yourself something to eat. Sir. Sir. I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. Oh, cheers, It's mate. nice to give something instead of just begging. Thanks very much, dude. If I could give you any I more money, mate, I would money do. money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. You any good with a gun? <sighs> <sighs> We just, we just lost a, a, a good friend of ours called Sean, mate. Maybe you could uh, work your way up the ranks of the Vandalin gang. Morning. Right, I need to find out both jangles. Morning, partner. Morning, partner. Oh, excuse me. How you doing? Look where you going? Look where you going? I don't want to get in trouble for you bumping into me. How many chapters are there? I don't know. Please don't answer that in chat either. I don't I don't want to know how many chapters there are, folks. How do you do? I'm alright, thank you, my sir. Yeah, no idea. All I know is chapter four is where I am. <clears throat> You'd have shot the kid with you, sir. But you have to see if you can. I am gonna guess if uh, if you're shooting, you don't get that cutscene, which makes me think you probably can't shoot him. I was quite happy to uh, hog time and throw him off a building, to be honest. <laughs> it, it was definitely uh, on the cards. Right, let's have a look where we go in here then. So I'm going to guess it's that saloon, is it? Where about it? Anyway. Hello, oh, 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 sorry, ladies. What do you think you're doing? My horse is bigger than your horse. It will beat the shit out of you. Shut up, knobber. Let us know. Uh, let us know, Zar. See, see what happens when you try and shoot him. 
There's definitely a couple of times when I could have easily gone into dead eye mode. Can't remember better. I ain't no Spider-Man. What's that, Mojo 4? What's that, dude? I, um... I do my chapters. I, uh... I thought I did quite well on that chase scene, especially on the rooftops, Pixie. I, I, I literally felt like bursting into the Spider-Man theme music, to be honest. The way I was uh, racing around up there. Well, girl. <laughs> sure, this is the same bloody bar, isn't it? What did the kid I heard actually the say? going to be getting paid almost Hello, double husband. in his new term. Así es la vida. So hang on, is that is that a clothes store up there? Look, there's a tailor and a barber. There's the doctor. Um, we saw something else earlier as well, didn't we? Stable. Newspaper. Trapper. There's a trapper over here. Excellent. And a fence. Gunsmiths. What's that over there? Photo studio. I thought it said pornographic. I was getting all excited then. With the latest pornographic innovations. God blimey. Like sex suits and VR, mate. Holy balls. Mister. Hello, sir. Hello there. Hey, yo. Saludos. Hey, bien. How you do? I think we're supposed to be here. Aren't we? Did you hear about the preacher? Give him sermon drunk as a skunk. Perch these demons all over the good book. Oh. Who am I looking for, guys? I kind of, I kind of missed the the arse end. I was so caught up in it. All. Monsieur. Hey, Mister. Hello. He could play some high stakes poker in here, you know. Bonjour. Uh, you, the a horse thingy on the roadway. What a horse thingy on the roadway? Oh, she looks miserable, mate. A face like that. What do you mean by the horse thingy? There's these, which are the like the hitching posts. Is that what you mean? Or... How are you holding up? Muy bien. Okay. Turn to Dutch in the other saloon. He's not here. Definitely not inside. Is it? Oh, is that him over there? How are you holding up? Arthur. Oh, it is. It is. Sorry, Dutch. I was looking for you in the uh, in the bar, mate. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch Little sprogs, mate. Millions of them. I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently, he lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite oh, the park. We are so wrecking that joint. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. <laughs> he looks like such a scruffy oik. Just look at it; it makes my face itch. <laughs> It's probably, it could probably live off of, you know, for a week off things growing decide in that beard. I cannot which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. Slime! We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. I say shoot them all, Zar. I reckon we need a Gatling gun. A little bit of uh, West Dickens uh, action. Buenos dias, señor. Aquí, señorita. Oh, I'm just going to go and see. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at the trapper. Oh, Morning. Man. Where is the trapper? Where is he? Or she?
Where's the, where, where's the bloody trapper? Hello. Oh, you said that. Hello. 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 He's not the trapper, is he? Hey, fellas. Good morning, Frank. Hey there. Oh, well, that's no use to me, then, is it? Hey, partner. Good morning, morning Mr. Good morning, mister. Alright, well, look, let's go and, um... Let's go and have a, a chat with a stranger down the alley. I think he's that way. Need to change my car. I don't know, should we wear some, like, more city clothes, do you think, or...? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do with the beard. I, I kind of wanted a nice big goatee, but that's the word around town. I apparently have to get a hair tonic in order to grow it further. Um, I said there was a stranger down here, didn't it? There's a bar. Must be uh, an entrance around the side or something. I don't know, though, I don't think. Hey, partner! Hi. Hi there! Well, hello! Why, hello there! Hey, mister. Good morning, sir. Good day. Good morning, sir. Been in there, aren't we? Is that the door there? This is a proper back street pub if it is, isn't it? It can't be. It must, must be upstairs. Ooh, what the hell? Oh. Backseat gambling morning, room. Gentlemen. Good day so far. Huh. Hey, friend. Joe-san. Hey. Buy me a drink, Careful. mon ami. Some dangerous folk around here. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. What? Oh, very good, then. Mm. It's... The best. Thank you. Santé. <sighs> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies. Um, how do you say? All ass. Mm? Asshole. Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world, painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris, no. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. <laughs> hmm? I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina... That is truth. Breasts is truth. Art is for idiots. You say so. <laughs> Trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Oh! Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. 
Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Got pictures, boobs. We should check that out in more detail. Look like she got a very funny looking nipple. Oh my Jesus balls! God damn it! That was close. Uh, let's see what I do want to do. Get a quick screenshot of that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. How do I do this? In satchel. Recent. Where's my Where's my picture of my sexy lady gone? Hmm. It's uh, it's Madonna, quite clearly. Maybe from the back of it. Yeah. Fucking hell, they'd have your eye out, wouldn't they? Jesus balls. Where are doing? we going? We need we need to eat. I am actually quite tempted to go to the barber, you know. Is that another stranger down there? Might as well do them while we're down here. Uh, let me just pop the radar back. You always act like this. Uh, sorry, I pressed the wrong you buttons, mind mate. Your business, I'll mind mine. Is that Bojangles? I think that is actually Bojangles. Help though. the poor. Help the poor. You, kind sir, will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many Thanks, who will go Grimm. hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How are you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um... My mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. You uh. must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. No Help the poor. I did mention this uh, the other day, didn't I? It's just through the market, there to the left. Joseph. Green door. It see it. I can see a green shutter. God, the site, it's Hello. so busy, isn't it? Hello. You lot doing all right there? This place is a mess, I tell you. Morning. Morning. I tell you what, it, it's going to be mad to think what uh, cyberpunk is going to be like for um, crowd density and interaction, isn't it? This is, a, this is a fence, then, right? Search for clues of the captive's whereabouts. Shall do. Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? Uh, a moment, s'il vous plaît, monsieur. Looking for anything in particular? Never gonna say anything to look well. at. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Shall I? Uh, shall well, I aim a weapon? You just let me know if I can help at all. I wish I had thrown a saber. Actually, we could uh, kick it out of him. A 
something there I could I could check, wasn't there? As far as I saw. Uh... Is it, is it here? Is the, where's the nightstand it say? Oh, there we go. A oh, nightstand. Shaking Stephen's green door. I have no idea. Seems to remember something about a man called Shaking Stevens, wasn't he? Uh, didn't he used to like wiggle his legs a lot with a lot of denim or something like that? This old, uh, this old house. That, that's all I remember. I don't remember any other lyrics other than this old house. And he used to like waggle it. It was, it was like a sort of uh, a shit MC hammer. Can't touch this. And he used to wiggle his hips and feet and legs around a lot as well, didn't he? Touch this. Uh, 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 uh. This all happened. <laughs> terrible, mate. Absolutely terrible. Vanity, all is vanity. I don't know, I'm not sure what to do. I don't know if it's going to stick a gun in his face. I think I must have. I'm definitely missing uh, something in his back here, I think. Kind of crazy little... Uh, the, the fact that we've got that engraving in that drawer. That's kind of pretty, pretty rad, isn't it? What am I missing? What am I missing, guys? Hang on, is there another area? I didn't see that. Oh, look! Oh, there's a secret door. Oh, look! That moves. That totally moves. Oh, uh, nothing much back there. Shut it! A few old books. Something don't seem right. What are you doing back there? What's back here? Looks like this pulls out or something. Pulls out? No, it's just an old bookcase. Uh, seen better days. I must say, you're acting very strange. Just uh, what is it you want? Maybe you should leave now. How about you open that door? Door? What door? The hidden door. Or I'll open the hidden door in your chest. They made me do it. I, I was always good to them, but they, they forced me to do it, sir. I, I swear. Open the door. Now. Oh, okay, okay. Just pull the big red book on the bookshelf. It's called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Made me do it, I swear. Oh, Scooby Doo mystery. Oh, hello? Shh, gadgety, gadgety. Hi, I can I? Por favor, ayúdanos. Oh, no. Help, please. That's so bad. Por favor. Now, don't worry. I'm on your side. ¿Quién eres? Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. I don't know what to do with the shopkeeper. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise.
feel like giving him. I feel like uh, hog tying the shopkeeper and lobbing him in the basement. I reckon I can do it. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. He's done a bloody runner. He's done a bloody runner. Oh, thank you for the bits, Paprika. This way. Right, where was the? Where Not was much the farther. Monk? Poor bastards. Quién es este hombre? No sé. Estamos libres. Y eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. Hay gamgala. I wonder if CD Projekt Red are busy Good playing this to see, um... Oh, there's, there is the trap, right? Okay, so he's, he's back now. Look. Shortcut. Pro skills. Brother... Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Did I just give you that? Uh... Keep it. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. It's good like idea, actually, Michael. I should have. Come, 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 come. I should have hog tied him before I went down. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Would have made sense as well, because uh, he could he could have come down with a shotgun for all I know, couldn't he? Hello, sir. Yeah, I should have been a bit more careful, though. Howdy, mister. Thank you for the bits, Paprika, and good morning. How are you doing, sir? Hello, sir. You're right, in poop. Hello. All made right here. Hello again. That was quick. Well, I think All I've right, got. Let's have a look. We actually got. I wanted to keep. Uh, I was going to keep the special pelts, wasn't I? I really need to get them to. Oh no, hang on. No, we do want to send them to the trapper. That's the whole point, isn't it? I hope we make something pretty with that. There we go. Excellent. Finally. So uh, let's. Um, you wait, tight, tight. Let's get a hard save in there as well. There we go. Excellent. Well, there must be a way uh, to get uh, get out, Smyrna. You would install a one-way door, would you? Bye. Thank you. And I don't think I'd want me down there with all my quite evidently high-powered guns just sitting there waiting for him to come back in. I can't imagine that would happen. But there'd be nothing to stop him coming down and shooting me in the face. Hey, doing, Mark. Hello. I think that groom's gonna start to death. Fine, mate. Don't exaggerate. Uh, hey, where partner. are we actually going? Um, let's have a quick look. I want to go. I quite like these stranger quests. Actually, they're a nice way to see the city, aren't they? I wonder if there's anywhere I can actually go and eat. We actually been past the saloon or anything? Oh my god, there's a dead horse. That better not be freaking Bo Jangles, mate. Oh my god, look at the state of that. Oh, that is putrid. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about Bo Jangles. Bo Jangles, I think, has got a really high chance of dying in sand. Because even if I hitch it, it's, uh, it seems to follow me. Let's give Rob uh, that train a go. We definitely need to. Uh, might do it tomorrow. We might get on the train and go for the full the full tour and see if we can find any like tunnels. Well, I suppose. Uh, 
master. She looks interesting. Hello, ma'am. Hey, handsome. <laughs> Bit of a cheeky alley. Hey. Hello. Looks well, like if you uh, if you interact and, and say hello to everybody, you do actually get um We are gonna need to eat something, aren't we? I got anything to I don't think I've actually got anything like proper to munch on. I mean I have got food, but I've got no meat, have I? No meat provisions. Yeah, my, my uh, Arthur was not looking too good at one point. In fact, my horse was malnourished at one point. Pigs just running around. What the hell? Someone, someone capture their pig, for goodness sake. It's okay, girl. Just a scratch. Go, okay, go. Yeah, looking beautiful again. So much guy. I have to Hello. say, CD Projekt Red, um, that, that whole cyberpunk thing with, with the hustle bustling crowds that we saw in that 45 minute demo, the, the whole crowd tech that they were using, that did look really fascinating, I must admit. Ah, excuse me, bud! Do you what, mate? Alright, bro, what's that all about? Oh, 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 you're gonna bump into my uh, horse, then I'm gonna get arrested, no doubt. You look nice. Well, thank you very much. Really? You need. I haven't I just cleaned you? Goodness. Yes. Yes. Why can't I feed by jangles? Have some oaty cakes. <laughs> Yes, you, sir. A living legend right here. What's this, dude? What? <laughs> like Listen, a bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor, over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of shine? Oh, yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, <laughs> friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. <coughs> um, well, that's bloody miles away, so... Let's go and have a quick look over the, uh, the bank here. Um... <laughs> uh, Madness. Absolute madness. Um, Brother Dawkins again. Uh, well, let's leave Brother Dawkins and let's go and speak to old... Well, should we hit the barber? Get him cleaned up a little bit because he's looking a right scruffy oik at the minute, isn't he? It's definitely... Uh, it's, I think some beard lice and other things going on. See if we can find a saloon to get some food. Although I didn't see, I didn't see the option for food. Ain't worth the trouble. Ain't worth the trouble, boy. Woof woofs. Would, would you shoot it, Zar? Would you really take the time out to shoot that dog, dude? Bet you would, wouldn't you? So now, it's two in the morning, and I you still cannot find here? my other shoe. <laughs> You're about to witness true justice in action. 
You're oh, you. Right. Hey, remember me, friend? Hell me out again. Any last words yeah. before the noose? That ugly bitch deserved what she got. She deserved it. Seems it's ironic, huh? Oh. Oh! There he goes! I heard the next snap. Damn! Cruel and abhorrent behavior will not That's stand in else. this country. See his legs twitching. Justice won this battle, but the war is far from over. Heed these words. Bravo! Kinda makes me hungry watching that. I know what you mean. It's the blood boy. Makes me feel alive. Exactly. I can go Damn. with some crawfish. Wow. Wow. No mucking about there, was the Jeez. Um I wonder what the I wonder what the photo uh, the photographer actually is all about. It's, it's um portraits. Let's go and have a look. Ah, this is your first time, no? Welcome, sir. Scrub the blood out of the floorboard. Let's get started. No need to be gentle. Five dollars for a picture? You're having a laugh, mate. Oh yes, the Congo, the setting of all great portraits. Yes, now. Something comfortable. It has been captured. Oh, yeah. Huh? Very enough. Very enough. Not going to argue. All right, let's carry on up. So I want to get the I want to get to hit the barbers, hit the clothes store, and then go and uh, so I, we need to find we actually need to eat some proper food, don't we? Okay, girl. Terrified of knocking someone over and all hell breaking loose. Hola, señorita. How is everything? Oh, not so bad. Hello. Thank you. Looking for a trim? Yeah. So, what do you need? Right. Um. Oh, I don't know, to be honest, mate. The air's getting quite long around the back, isn't it? Man's whiskers can make or break his whole deportment, you know. Can you can you do anything else with your hair? Like, for example, can you styles? All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's, let's sort the uh, the mess of a beard out first. It's suggesting I've got new styles now. With the flying foot. Oh, we have got new styles. Oh my god, no. The goatee. The Josiah. The leg of mutton. And that twirler. No, no, no. Oh my god, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh my god, no. Ooh. The Spartan. Look at that. Um. Damn, so many options. 
So, uh, what is it that you need? What's that? What's the mask? Is just where your cause are glitched? Why? What's happening? Oh, we we know now to eat outside, Micah. Oh God, uh, no, no problems getting meat and fish and all the rest of it. Uh, in, in fact, this is the very first time I've ever just run out of food because I I didn't realise we were on our way to San Denis, so I I didn't I didn't cook anything, mate. Uh, yeah, it's the first time in the game where I've actually had like uh, had to actually seriously consider. I think we need to go clean shaven for a little bit, to be honest. We can do up all the latest trends. What's he actually look like at the minute? That is such a scraggly beard. Look like you can see like individual hairs on it. It's insane. Must be actually, so it's really good. Uh, he's even got like a grey, hasn't he? He's, he's got he's got a bit of ginger in there, you know. I'm telling you, there is legit ginger in that beard. Um, so full styles, mustache styles, chin styles, and sideburn styles. They could go for quite a Wolverine look, couldn't you? We look at the full styles again. Whiskers are all the fashion now, from what I hear. Can I not just have? Just go for a. How, how would I get rid of the the rest? Of, yeah, let me just. Uh, I go for chin. So if I do that. Now that isn't half bad, huh? And then go for that. Go for that. Is that as clean as he can get? Mm -hmm. Well, I want to go for a really, I want to go for like a crazy tash, but how do I get his sideburns done? Um... That's still a lot of stubble on the side of his face. How do I get rid of that? Cowpoke in here a few weeks back. Had to Anybody trim bugs know? out of his hair and beard. Ugh. Trim. Disgusting. Uh, chops. Ah, there we go. Mighty fine if I do say so. Can go for a mustache style. I'll probably, I probably still need to do the chin a little bit, maybe. Oh dear, there are some funny looking mustachios there, mate, I tell you. The handlebar, always in style. If you go for a trim on the chin. Oh, that should be better. You're looking dashing, mate. And then we'll go for hair. Let's have a look what styles he's got. We're never going to see it, are we? Because um, otherwise, where's his hat anyway? But. Thank you. Bit. Looks okay. Yeah, it looks all right, mate. You look all right. You don't look quite a, well. You don't. You don't look like such a scruffy bastard, now. To be honest, mate. Uh, right. Okay. So where, right. we want to go to the You're tailors as well. I seriously need to get some food. Right. You know Your barber's pole there. Look. Let's try. See that, that? Is that saying that saloon's actually locked? As in, can't go in there or. Hot me ah, it's a proper, it's a proper one. Let's let's go to this one. I think we can get um, can even get a bath and stuff there. I want to Hello. Hello. The boarding house. How do you do? I do very well, thank you, sir. 
Hello there. It's gonna be weird watching him uh, on cutscenes, but that's, it takes a lot of maintenance, though, doesn't it? A uh, 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 mustachio like that. See this? This is the um. This is that place we were at earlier. Ow! I swear to God, boat jangles do not get run over, mate. How would I? How would I Where actually get Tom? food? It's too bad. It really is. Can somebody? So what did it be? There we go. Oh my God! Lobster, prime rib. Oh yes, bro. Look at that. Oh dear. I think we need to get rid of that stupid moustache. Hey. Good meal, I hope. All right. That was gorgeous, man. All right. Where you get? Can you get a real man as well? I had a man come in here the other day Gentlemen. tell me about Monsieur Bonjour. Lodgings, yeah you can. Not sure what the purpose in lodgings actually is, because people were telling me that you really needed to sleep in the game. I'm gonna be honest, I, I think I've slept twice, maybe three times in my entire playthrough, and I don't seem to be getting any detrimental hey, effects from it, to be honest. Madame. So I'm not entirely convinced that is really making any difference. Do you reckon the tailors will be open at this time or not? Yeah, that's that's the problem, Pixie. Get a gob full of mustachio, mate. No one likes a gob full of mustachio. It sort it sort of suits him. We'll uh, we'll rock it for a little bit, I think. He needs something a bit smarter now. He's actually in the city, doesn't he? Not actually mean to do that. I think I need to go. Can I get up there? So what are you going for, Razor? You're going for a beard down to your ball sack, mate. This is going to be closed, isn't it? Yeah, wait until morning. Um, Hello, sir. Kind of wanted to wander around at night, but I also want to check the tailor out. So I'm, I'm sure we'll still be here of an evening. We'll get a, we'll get some nice screenshots in there. Yeah. Tailor and tailor. Oh my god, he looks terrible. He really does not look. It's oh dear. <laughs> What have you got? Have you got anything uh, that we haven't seen before? Let's have a look here. Outfits. Uh, we've seen that. Seen that. Oh! Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. Oh my lord. Looks, what was that, um... That is a local favourite. I'm trying to think of the name of the film where the bad guy... It, it's a Western film, and the bad guy has got a hat very similar to that. Uh... I think we're gonna... It's, it's the shoes. Let's, let's buy that. Now that is of the highest quality you can find. Looks like he's got uh, the Division skull gloves on, mate. Holy balls. They're worth a fortune. <laughs> DLC, bro. Oh, there's loads, loads of new hats, I think. Let's do it. Let's walk around the town looking like a right old dapper chapper. Is that what it was? The Wild Wild West? 
Fucking Darwin. Wow, wow, West. Was that not a. Uh, what's his name? Um, oh, God. Will Smith, wasn't it? I think he looks pretty. I, I tell you what, I actually quite like that. What do you think, Pixie? <laughs> actually suits him. He looks, he looks badass. <laughs> I don't know. He, he to yeah, he's cool totally there. rocking that moustache now, mate. I say that. He's rocking that tash. Come on, people. Let me vote. It's a national disgrace. There's your name. Are you holding up? As well as can be expected. Je vous salue. Deja vu salut. Let women vote. It's time to let women vote. Oh, we've got the, uh, the suffrage movement, movement look. Bonjour. Bonjour. You're wow, walking away wow, from history, West. you fools. Women and men both deserve to decide the future. Was that, was that film actually any good? I, I know it was one of the Bonjour. biggest box office flops of the genre, or, 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 or certainly not of the genre, of, of the era, wasn't it? The, the budget for Wild Wild West was like, literally off the freaking charts wasn't it and, it, and it, it was just a massive box office flop in terms i'm sure it actually sold a lot but but in terms of making its cash back it didn't it uh it, it, it didn't make the bazillions it was expected to right but i can't remember if the film was actually any good or not i seem to remember there was a giant ass like spider robot in good it morning. Uh, do we know where we're going? Where are we even going? Um, let's go and do a stranger. Yeah, Don't get run over, mate. It's a brand new and very expensive suit. So what about... Oh, she's going to the cinema. Theatre. Yeah, got a fancy hat now, mate. I'm going to treat you all to... Uh... Hey there. I'm not buying popcorn, mate. Popcorn's a rip-off, mate. I don't mind buying the tickets. I need a ticket, please. Please, through those double doors. Hello! Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than <laughs> during extensive travel through this and foreign lands. I have procured a show so fantastical Yeehaw! there exists right. nothing like it anywhere in an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams. I have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held without a profit to me it's true for it is I'm just going to get a drink and listen to this guys I'll be back in a sec gifted artists to you I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy truly the most exotic of places in the world he was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him. I bathed him. I shaved him from head to toe. He is truly a wonder to behold. Presenting Benjamin Lazarus.
Welcome! Welcome! Welcome to my incredible display of dark arts and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught bedding my wife. I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old with all manner of feats of amazement, but none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant Orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalicola off my head. This is insane. Yeah! Off my head. Here we go! Careful. Yeah. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my god, so what? <laughs> oh my god! Sweet Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> that this always scares me. <laughs> now, observe. As I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. What is he doing? Let's do that again. Hmm? Alright. Hmm. Oh, I can't take it. You're pulling my leg. This is a bunch of dang balderdash. Ah. Oh, damn. <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm ah. to watch the show. And Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival rules. These bullets are 100% real. Wow. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet Back. in my teeth. Can I volunteer? Is no Bring one out man enough? Come on, someone, stand up and take a shot. What do you want to be to share? If nobody else is gonna expose this phony, then I will. I trust you are a good shot, sir. I can shoot a fly's wings off at a hundred paces. Excellent, my good man. What's been going on? Well, ready? <clears throat> Take aim. Oh, a is too much. I'm trying to catch bullets. And fire. I, I was sort of listening now. to it. Oh. Is he okay? Is he better? Gentlemen, death is just an illusion after all. Yeah. How the hell did he do that? Yeah, it's a miracle.
Damn, that went on for ages because I, I could I could actually hear it, but obviously I couldn't see what was happening. I couldn't even yes. see my way out. Yes, truly a feat of incredibility. I told you that boy would Jesus. You all manner of personal. That's actually pretty cool. It looks like they've got um, a fully fledged evening's entertainment in there. I reckon we could uh, we could stay in there, couldn't you? Right, what were we up to? I feel like I haven't shot anyone in the face for far too long. Where shall we go? Uh, we were, ah, we were on our way down there, weren't we? Stranger. It's actually pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean, was it... Was stuff happening? I mean, what was the... I mean, I could hear stuff happening, but... You got anything? I've just had a bit of chocolate cake. Legit, straight up, proper chocolate cake. Um, oh, flake something. A flake. Cadbury's flake cake. It was, uh, it was very nice. Very nice indeed. Having a nice curry this evening. Damn, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous. Look at the smoke pouring out of there. Very impressive. Oh, hang on. Is this the... Oh, the, is this not the dude? Oh, no, it can't be, can it? I can say, is it the dude that he wanted all the moonshine? Why do I waste my time? Why? Why? <sighs> what the hell is that? You okay, bud? Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall have the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you? Some kind of. A European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. You should stay away. No, no he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betray and, and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. I gave it, it to Pixie Razor. of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. Ah! Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Enchanté. My <laughs> 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 hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, <coughs> you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Aww. But maybe I <laughs> can make you immortal. Yeah. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. What? I, I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. <sighs> Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, <laughs> it is easy. Any moron could do it. Oh, right. I am about to prove <clears throat> that. Here, take this, and this, and... Uh, don't touch that. 
Uh, Use this one to steer reverse. and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow oh up my, the little battleships cool. and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bottom. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey! It's doing what I'm telling oh, wow. you. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. That is so cool. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Whoa, 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 Look at those poor boys on the H.L. Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Maybe smoking Trapped a in a bit. box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose it's you intend to make an unmanned mental. killing machine? You misunderstand. This is Oh shit, what's that? Oh my god, get away, dude! Not dead. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. You avoid the mines, yes? That is what controls are for. What did, I, what did I say the other day? I always, always wanted a remote control boat. And now I've got one. This is the single greatest thing in the game ever. Another one down. I'm getting the mastery of this. Show them one more. Proof. Evasive maneuvers. The range on these torpedoes is like. Get rid of that. Oh. oh, 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 oh. The mines! They're magnetized, remember? Gone for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. The, 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 the demonstration's not over yet. Any fool can explore the sitting dock. Next, he will show you the moving docks. Well, all right. That is so Let cool. Just reload. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. We have to. We're gonna go nick the dude in the, the boat. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to like destroy the, the boat, little man. sailing boats before they get to other side of pond. Fuck Still man. avoiding magnetic mines. No, oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. What? The steam train. The telegraph machine. <laughs> <laughs> Boom shakalak! <laughs> Extremely satisfying. <laughs> what we need is we need a version of this so we can drive around the streets this and take dogs and cats really out with. Remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration oh, of my that prowess. Is awesome. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. 
Oh no, all the uh, all the what's the now the apparently. dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pod. Still avoiding magnetic mines. No, oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. Where's the little boat? Bro? The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal no! or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course. But what a thing to fund. What an opportunity. No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even dim with here. Hey. You really all work on your salesmanship. Ah, Americans! All you think about is sales! He's not controlling that thing. Look who rules the seas! Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof, undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. And was this not difficult? It was difficult, but it was not difficult for me. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible it, things are in my lap. It's back at awesome, Dover Hill. bro. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? That was better than no. Survive the Nights, mate. This is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, anyway, Dover Hill. I hope you will forgive my European... That was a very fun side distraction, to say the least. That just, just controls really nicely. Uh, right, Dutch van. Let's go see old Dutch, 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 Dutch. Dutch, my sexy boy. Where's uh, Bojangles? Where you going? Come on, donkey. I think I, th I can forgive him, Mega Greg. I was literally saying, it, uh, we were talking about something on, on stream. I don't know if it's last week or the week before. We were talking about remote control cars. And my whole sort of big expense, I, I, I suppose, outside of actual bikes, like as in pedal bikes as a young kid, were remote control cars. We loved our remote control cars. And the whole street where I grew up, we were all remote control car mad. And I always wanted a remote control. Oh, wait, my real passion was a remote control helicopter. But you can imagine back then it, it wasn't things like drones if you wanted to get something like a chopper in the sky it was like a proper petrol driven thing i mean they were bloody dangerous mate let, let alone expensive way outside of our league for uh for contemplation but uh, i always fancied a remote control boat as well because they were in the realms of uh possibility but yeah that, that's that's really good fun those just goes to show how something doesn't have to be overly complicated. It's the feel of the game sometimes that, that is what, what makes it feel fun, you know? The momentum of it and the, uh, the hard, also quite, quite large turning circle on it just makes it good fun to control. Get that big guy. I had, to, I, had to, I had to give it a go. I wonder how, how big boom boom the explosive torpedoes were. It took that bloody boat out. Lovely, didn't it? There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just see some slick little greasy haired European with clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there, you're right, invalid. Shooting up the place. 
Boy's gonna get shot oh, down, I guarantee. Neo. Better like this. Didn't think. have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Hey, oh. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. <laughs> Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. He looked very dainty doing that, didn't he? Little wriggle of the hips. They do. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Oh. Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Arthur. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Mm. Strange. Strange. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. 
Can we... Have I still got my outfit for three on? This is idiotic. Hey, God, that's better. You that's better. I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All I'm... things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... <sighs> He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just... Get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Cheers, Lemons. Thank you very much. Thank you for the follow. Welcome okay. to the channel. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Yeah, but it's uh, it's very dense uh, content there, isn't it? So much going on. You can't even like walk a couple of minutes. Um, without something kicking off. Oh, hang on, what, what have we got? Are we... Lanka? Uh, no, I don't want the bolt-action rifle. Why does it always give me the bolt-action rifle? Uh, Pump-action shotgun, please. Pew, pew, part of a grrr, cast the dribble, plop. We need some... Should we go for... Have I got any feed? Go and of course there's some. Look at that. <clears throat> now we're ready for it. You coming? Come on, let's find him and get the hell out of here. We'll be anywhere, mate. This plane. We actually came in here the other day, didn't we? Stay quiet. We don't want to spook him. See some lights up front. The hell was that? Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. Keep going. Definitely coming from back there, wouldn't it? Oh, it's just gone on there, look. It's someone like, someone's making a lot of bright, weird noise, isn't they? When my time comes, Arthur, make sure they put me deep in the ground. With pleasure. I wouldn't know what happened to Sean. This place gives me the chills. I need to go left. Here we go, here we go. Shh, hold up. I think I heard something. What? Either the dead are waking up, or somebody's trying to wake them. That okay. was so cool, man. Come on. Get in cup. Hey, John. Over here. Over way, dude. What's the matter? Go, bruh. I we were going quietly, dude. Holy shit balls. You boys found my pappy's watching! Oh my god. Oh! 
Oh, this boat's gonna make me jump. <laughs> Holy shit, that makes Damn me it. jump. How many you see? Three, four. Let's bail, boys. This ain't worth it. Look out! They're making a run for it. Uh, well, that's a jump. Can't see him. Can't see him. Can't see him. Just can't see him. Where are they? Bastards are trying to draw us out. Let's stay on them. Come on. Can't see shit, John. Can't see where the damn. We sure picked the right night for it. You think you can run? Oh, I just saw it. I just saw it. <laughs> Fucking headshot, mate. No doubt. <laughs> oh, that felt good, dude. Hardly see what I'm shooting at. If it moves, blast it. Could we be able to see him using the old uh, eagle eye? Oh, 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 that I can felt think good. of better ways to spend an evening. There he is. There he is. There he is. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. Where is he? 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 So a rat. Oh, they ain't seeing better than we are. Just keep your head down. So oh, you make us do the hard work, bitch. Where is he? Oh, rip. There he is. Oh, please. Shit, where'd he go? That's not a bad dude, is it? Oh! I think we got one left. Let's smoke him out. You alright? I'm fine. I think that's all of them. Alright. Now let's find their stash. God, that was hard to see what was going on. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. I actually got my the right. I haven't got the right guns, have I? It's switch. Why does it keep switching my guns? It's really annoying. Like I said. Let's look around where they jumped us. They definitely need to do something with the inventory on it. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. John. 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 Calm down, John Marston. Calm down, Come sir. on. It's very dark out here. Let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. Can I? Isn't that gorgeous the way the uh, mist is just causing that gorgeous glare? I think we need to oil the lamp, mate. <laughs> That's the squeakiest lamp ever. It's never made that noise before. There might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit! It's the law. Well, you got kid let's go. Me. Maybe we can get out that gate. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Oh, Damn it! God. Let's go around the side. Shit! What oh no! What are you doing? We gotta lose them, Morgan. Oh, what they, they said the brothers were after me, so I just oh, you gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me! Come on, somebody hit this fool already! I don't know how to get out, guys. I've got no idea how to get out. Let me have a look at the map. Uh, don't even matter where it just was, I think. Get back. Let's get him. Let's get out of here, boys. Let's get out of here. Yeah. See you later, John. You're on your own, mate. 
Before we get, oh, we on a mission, are we? Got a seventeen fifty bounty on us, which isn't too bad. Um, it's luck. I'm gonna have to change my outfit, so I think we'll go for the old bear hat. Yeah, I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. See, I thought the cops were coming after us. I thought the law had basically Easy. seen us. So I thought, I'm just going to see if I can actually shoot the lights out before they get close so we can start off in shadow. And the second I shot the light, it was like freaking all hell broke loose. We obviously didn't like the sound of gunfire. I must have thought we were taking a pop shot at them. Lesson learned. Yeah, we got, we got the bear hat, don't worry. It's my go-to disguise. Gotta get to Dutch without the uh, the law spotting me. Should be all right. Thank you for the follow, Bumsy. <laughs> the bear hat looks like a six foot Ewok on horseback. <laughs> Uh, the Ewok hat, we shall now call it. Uh, should we plot a, a path there? Because I'm actually really, really lost. Oh, yeah. I'm going to pay that bouncy off as well. It's only 15 smackaroonas. It's a shame because I was, I was kind of at, uh, the whole point of me shooting the light out was I, want, I wanted to see if it would work and two, I wanted to do a stealth section. But, uh, it was snatched away from me. I have a really bad feeling, guys. Dutch is going to have the bejesus kicked out of him by the time we get there. Easy. Huh? Right, now I can't possibly go in there with a bear out on because they'll right. just all laugh at me. Let's get this done. Come on, Arthur. You come on. I'm in front of you, dude. Mr. Marston. Well. You took your time. Jack, where's your host? Ah, like I still said, Jack. Oh my God, what have I done to you, kid? Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank you Mr. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> And us, just simple country boys. 
Do I get to wear a bear hat? Follow Dutch. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're well, at least gonna we got love Jack it. Back. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> it's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. <coughs> did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Well, it sounds like the kid had a good time. I'm sorry to say it, John, but you're a shit dad, bro. Yep, you should have been wearing the bear's helmet. It'd have been all right, wouldn't he? Stupid knobber. Oh shit, Dutch, sorry. You man. had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? Uh, a whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> John's just gonna get a slap. <laughs> I got my son back! <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so? Well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> what I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Mission accomplished. We did all right there. Oh, look at that. 3,900 smackaroonies as well. Game is huge. Can I dance with uh, Karen? Good to have you back here. We missed you. Hey, how about a song? Let's do it. A dilly dilly dilly. <laughs> don't know the words. I don't think any of them do either. Contrabando. Contrabando. Badando. 
mar de ojitos negros y el ¿Cuánto de contrabando. Lunar que tiene el cielo lindo junto a la boca No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca Get ready for the bass drop. Ese lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca That's a banging Excuse song, me. man. Arthur? Amazing. Uh, they will be unavailable. Oh, right, okay. Um, oh, I don't know. What should we do? Should we go say later, Jack? Couldn't have done it without Dutch and Arthur. The old guy. I'm very relieved. We all are. Yeah. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. God, don't Thanks get out of the mud, there. kid. Well, I'll let you find folks get reacquainted. Okay. Hey, what, Isaiah? How you doing, John? I don't think there's anything we can actually do. What's that weird looking icon? Looks like half a Guinness. Uh, half a pint of Guinness. Look, what's that all about? How you doing? Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. Really? If you want to say go to so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur. Have a little faith. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. All right, then. Can't we do some more singing? We could do Dilly 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 and a good old Grimbergian favourite. Ay, 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 ay. We so need to go camping. Okay, Mama. Sorry, it ain't spaghetti. Or a chicken. Get some drinks down, you. Live a little. Come watch my Red Dead Redemption 2 live stream. Doing a Black Ops 4 or $60 gift card giveaway to a fuck. Hey, shit, yeah, so I'm going to watch this dude's channel. Right, thanks, everyone. See you later. <laughs> Let's go and tune in. Let's go and check him out. Hang on a minute. I'm quite intrigued now. White man underscore 12. Let's see if I can bring him up on Twitch. Fuck me. Promoting like that, dude. I'm over there, geezer. Better be, better be, better be freaking live, you twat. Let's have a look. Where do I get? Oh, I don't know how to get to him now. I've forgotten how to, I've forgotten how to work Twitch. What's his name? White. Oh, hang on. I've got. Oh, I can hear myself talking, calling him a twat in the background. What's happened? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, girl. what's his name? White Man 12. Let's go and check him out. Oh, look, he's got three dudes watching him. Look, let's check him out. Fellas, let's make some ground. I like how Dutch, whenever you try to get in front of somebody, it like speeds them up. It's in followers only it's mode. It's weird. He's got followers only on. <laughs> what a cockwomble. All right, we're heading back. Oh, you're dead. This kid's dead. And why is he streaming in 480p? That's 
come on. Five, uh, for five dollars I could be a mod on his channel. I'm doing it all wrong, lads. I <laughs> said he's just followed. <laughs> I think we've just tripled his view account, look. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I see you in there, Sadie. I see you. He's not said hello to you yet, mate. There's Zoltan, look. Thanks for the follow, man. Let's <laughs> pretty quick. I can't get mixed up with anybody. <laughs> Ask him when he's doing this fucking Thanks giveaway. Fun, I ain't yeah. got all day. Please. What was he offering? Black Ops 4 or 60, 60 bucks giveaway. Just let me go. Come on. Holy shit. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Mega this is, Greg's uh, in there. Exclamation mark. Enter. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the guys. Oh, Jesus Christ. What's your name, boy? I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. There's no enter. I'm in a... It's Kieran. Kieran <laughs> Duffy. Kieran Duffy. I don't have that command or anything. I'm just going to go from my followers list. I'm going to look up everybody's name, put it on a wheel, and then just go from there. Well, that's it. I'm, I'm going to go watch this. Have a lovely Saturday, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> We've got him up to 20 viewers in a minute. Can we make it a big 2 0? You see, we shouldn't have done this. Now he's going to go into everyone's channel advertising his own channel. The thing is, the only donation I've ever gotten was last weekend. I was playing Black Ops 4, and some kid randomly came in and donated. Oh, I'm sorry, you're fucking boring the shit out of me, yeah, mate. See you later, dude. Right, let's uh, carry on anyway. Um, <laughs> you didn't even get to finish the story, Nobba! <laughs> God damn it, right, let's get out of here. Uh, what were we up to? Okay then, girl. How, what were we doing, actually? That's a really good point. What were we doing? I've been... Dis I've been oh, hang on a minute. We need to go and get... Um, we need to pay the bounty off, don't we? Uh, which I think we can do at the... S where can we pay... A oh, no, it's there, isn't it? At the post office. Look, let's go and do that first. Let's get the hell out of here, bro. Thank you for the bits, big guy. Thank you very yeah. much for the bits. Well, good luck to everybody. I hope you all uh, managed to get a copy of Black Ops 4 or 60 bucks. Something tells me you probably won't. As soon as someone says, oh, we're not going to do it like that. We're going uh, to choose. We're going to look at my followers list, including two of them, which are fake accounts that I made up. And uh, mysteriously, they're going to win on the wheel. And I'm going to sit here and go, congratulations, non-existing account. Yeah. I think I, th I think we're on to him, mate. I think he's a bit of a, a wheeler dealer, mate. <laughs> oh, I got fence! Woo! Put the brakes on then. Pro skills, geezers. Pro skills. God. Sounded like he was giving his microphone a blowjob, didn't it? Fucking hell. Yeah. We'll pay off the bounty. I might, well, no, I don't think we need any. Actually, we might need food because it's a brand new camp, so everything might have reset. <laughs> there is, there is just... Oh, Jesus. What's the world bloody coming to? I think we should all sing a bit of aye, 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 aye again. And a dilly, dilly, dilly. I was getting into that. Hang on a minute. Have I gone around in a big circle now? We're okay. How do you do, the partner? Right, we've got a 17 smackaroonie. Gotta be careful there's no war around. It is night time. Low light. Ooh, there's a stranger over there as well. Just here. Oh, Sixty dollar donation received Holy from Persuade Bias King. Balls, Thanks for the dude. follow. 
Thank you very much, dude. Thank you very much. Jesus Christ, mate. Thank you very much, man. What the hell? Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. What the hell, dude? Thank you, bro. Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Right here uh, you're going to host him when we finish, ready. shall we? Should we host him? We just got... I don't, honestly, I'd have stayed in that chat, but he's got it in follower-only mode. And I'm sorry, but that is just like, that is just bullshit, dude. That is, that is, I that is bad. I, I did actually type call. in his chat. I said hello, blah, 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 blah. I, I don't know I said hello, mate, how you doing or something. And I clicked it and it went, you can't do that. It's follower-only mode. I was like, what? You can't do this so, uh, to me. Do you want this, Arthur? Thank you very much, Miss Warren. Thank you very much. <laughs> did persuade him to give away. <laughs> He's got a copy of Black Ops 4 on the way to him as well, James. Do you James. want this now, then? <laughs> or no? Oh, wow, dude. Thank, that's a huge amount of cash, mate. Thank you very, very much, sir. Thank you very much indeed, sir. Thank you very, very much. Um. Need something more specific. Do you want a song, Persuade? I've got a. Uh, you can have Dilly Dilly Dilly. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Inspect the note from your search to find out more details about the robbery. I quite like these, actually. If it, it feels naughty, then you get the insider info from the dude over here. What did it say inspect the what? Inspect the. What did it. What, what would it be under? Uh, and did anybody catch what it said there? Seriously, persuade. Thank you. That's that's a lot of that's a lot of money, mate. Thank you very very much indeed, bro. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Do, wait, wait. <laughs> the Dilly Dildo song. Hey, Dilly Dildo. <laughs> I, I think I'll write some lyrics for that later. I, I can see a new Christmas number one happening in Grumbay, dear, at this right? <laughs> Dilly Dilly Dildo. <laughs> what are you like, mate? Uh, he said to check something, didn't he? And I don't know what it was. Uh, it's not that, 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 not that. Dilly Dilly Dildo. We get, it could be a song about a dildo called Dilly, can it? It's, uh, yeah, I like it. I, you know, I'm, get, I'm getting an idea. We, we can have like a whole repertoire of... Uh, Friends, we, we could have any anal butt plug and, and stuff like that. It'd be amazing. We, we could do it like a puppet show, Pixie. Ah, oh, God, I'm getting all the ideas today, mate. We're gonna take over that in real life section of Twitch with uh, di <laughs> Dilly Dildo and friends. Ah, oh, it's gonna be amazing. God damn it. Ah, oh, we we'll have to. We we'll get Tony to send us some sex aids, and we'll like just glue those like boggly eyes on them. Ah, oh, it's going to be incredible. It's going to be amazing. Dilly Dildo and friends. Ah, oh, I'm thinking of the merchandise that we can sell. I mean, it's going to be massive, mate. Christmas bestseller. Ah, oh, songs. Justin Bieber will be doing covers. It's going to be, we'll have a bit of Snoop Dogg, Lion, whatever his fucking name is, doing a bit of rapping in the background. Ah, oh, it's going to be breathtaking. Wait up a spell, partner. P -p -p partner. You here to try this town's wine or women? Uh, both, or just preferably. whatever's cheapest. I'd head out full chiseled if I was you. Lest you want to be shot to death by raiders. <laughs> Toe the line. Or <laughs> I'll my oh, I see. Jesus. <laughs> Boom. Just fools in this bunch. <laughs> that worked out really quite impressively, actually. Uh, oh, Jesus, good look. I can't get Dilly Dildo out of my head now. Right. I have to go and get some uh, the girlfriend. Oh, Jesus, we've been... Oh, man, we've just been mullered. Look. Oh, dude. Uh, this is all going to go wrong now, isn't it? Wait. Dude, 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 dude. It's all a big misunderstanding. Don't get confused about that. Leave me alone, will you? You gonna do what I say? Was he gonna say a damn thing to nobody? Now, I seen your face. So don't make me come looking. Oh, that was good. That was good. You see that? 
That was pretty well handled there, Grum. Didn't press any of the wrong buttons, didn't shoot him in the dick or anything, mate. Very impressive, sir. I am a master of the controller. Let's get back out of here. That is seriously persuade, honestly, mate. Thank you. That that is that is insane, dude. Thank you very, very much, bro. Very much indeed. I think there's a bounty on there, dude. I'm gonna write you a song, Persuade. And we're gonna, yeah. I think we're gonna include you in our uh, Christmas pantomime. Got a good feeling about this. Hello. It's gonna get a bounty. I like the bounties. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do it? Should we just spam all the top Red Dead channels are? Hello, my name is Grumble. <laughs> what are we going to give away? We can, <laughs> we can give away dilly dildos, mate. I'll tell you what, I bet I, I, I'm not even kidding. I, I think it's what could make us. It could put us on the map, this man. Can you believe I just heard one of them man people treat you to us whites? Mark Johnson, twenty-five dollars. Let's let's take it. Uh, oh, hang on, was it dead or alive? Did anyone notice if it was dead or alive? I missed it. We'll take him alive. We'll, do, we'll get him alive anyway. What's that? Um, my foot is bleeding. I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> what have you done to your foot, bro? <laughs> okay, my girl. <laughs> what have you done, dude? I'm, I'm going to assume he's uh, I'm bleeding around the house trying not to get blood on the carpet. He stopped streaming, Valiant. What is, what is, did he stop streaming? No, I was looking forward to watching him later. <laughs> you can just totally picture that dildo with those goggly eyes now, can't you, mate? I know I can. <laughs> oh, Jesus. We need to get in touch with Tone. Someone in Tone's family works for uh, Anne Summers, I do believe. In fact, I think it's his mom in it. I think we can get a hefty discount. <laughs> oh, James is back. It clearly wasn't that bad, though, mate. What have you done? Bet you trod on a, a Lego brick, didn't you, mate? Oh, what's this dude doing? he doing to that? No idea. Oh, let's go and get yep. out. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you, Pesuai. Thank you very much, dude. <laughs> yeah. Dropped a glass on your foot earlier today. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Well, better, better your foot than uh, little ones, fella. I hope you're all right, mate. Oh, you'd have, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, you'd have been mortified if it had been a... The little, the little monkey, wouldn't you? I never know where to say names. I, I, I don't think you, uh, you, you might, do you? But I'm always cautious. <laughs> you can get a works discount on dildos from a couple of... Can you really? What, legit? Yeah. I'll be in touch later, mate. With your discount and the bulk easy, order. Easy. Right, we're going to go in with the Lancaster. And I think I'm going to go with the bow. I'm going to see if we can take anyone out all a stealthy, look stealthy like. Okay, that gorgeous. Will you quit with that damn Mexican garbage? Can't actually see anyone. See, sometimes the bounties we just have to confront, don't we? We, we have to go and sort of get close. Remember, I think there was one... Oh, no, because it wasn't a bounty, was it?
We ain't going till you get this right. I can't, Daddy, please. Let him in. He's been trying for hours. He ain't no kind of man till he can get on a horse. <laughs> I can't do it, Daddy. He's spent. Let him rest. My son there ain't no quitter. Do it again, boy. <laughs> Where, where's oh, where's the like daddy at? <clears throat> Leave it, Billy, please. He ain't trying, is all. Again, boy. Who, who's saying that? <clears throat> I can't. I'm, I'm beat. Look at him. He's. <gasps> They're here for your bounty. Come to mama, boy. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. We knew you was coming. He reached for his gun, though, didn't he? I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. I won't take but a moment. Make it quick. You're a forgiven man. He's gonna reach for a gun. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. He's doing something. He's gonna get his kid, he's gonna get exactly his kid in trouble. Say. You hear? No, don't I leave I ain't us, gonna Pop. fight you in front of my family, okay? Okay. Well, let's see him. Okay, now. Leave my daddy alone. Billy, leave it. What is this? Don't look away, boy. You remember this moment. You're the man now. Be a man, boy. You're coming with me. I love you, Daddy. Enough with that. Just remember what I said, boy. Oh, what has he said? I don't remember to leave him, actually. I, don't, I feel bad yes, taking him in anyway. Us. But I have a feeling <laughs> he's going to send the kid after us, isn't he? And I'm going to have to hurt the kid, and then I'm going to feel really bad, and then I'm going to have to drop this dude off a bridge. No I've got a bad feeling about this. A bad... I'll, I'll shoot the horse if I can. Definitely something going on there, isn't there? Don't you reckon? This dude's not talking. They always give me verbal, don't they? Can't see anyone. Mmm. Mmm. Shoot the family! I can't. Oh, what the hell? That son of a bitch. Come back, you snake. He gave him something, oh, didn't he? No, you don't. Damn. He did, didn't he? Is that what happened? Did he give him gotcha. something to cut his balls? Out of your hands now, mister. I'll do these tighter this time. How's that? <laughs> you should have, you should have shot the family. Now what was the point of that? <laughs> I can just imagine you playing this game, bro. mate. Premature. Is that witness? Oh Slow shit, down. balls! <laughs> oh my god, that's at least. That's all I want. No! 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 No more games, all right? All right, sorry, sorry, my bad. Oh, God, she's out of control. You shouldn't have done that. I couldn't control it. So. look what's happened. Dead because of you. Damn it. I knew you was being quiet. I just said that as well, didn't I? God, isn't it amazing? <laughs> so, I'm about to say, it's the first one I've taken back that hasn't been lippy. I'm always Let's lippy. Let's see about this. It's 
So he must have told the son to go and uh, get his friends, I guess, didn't he? Get him to uh, bushwhack us. Johnson, what? Just, you're real quiet back there. Most captured men, they beg or they cry or they rail against fate. That all went quite well until my uh, my cinematic exit Welcome went a bit wrong. Oh, Jungle's freaked out. Okay. Feeder, why can't I feed her? <clears throat> What's the guy done? Um... <clears throat> can't remember what it was actually. You've got me wondering there. Uh, do I have the wanted? Mark Johnson. Stage and train robberies by the looks of it. 25 bucks reward for stage and train robbery. Avoided capture years ago and is still at large. To be captured alive. Salt water, etc, etc, etc. So basically he's uh, armed and dangerous basically, mate. Yeah, but Jangle's... Um, so sometimes, yeah, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know whether there's... I don't know. Just sometimes I, she goes really crazy. I don't know if it's... Uh, uh, if other horses are... Right, I mean, this is supposed to be sort of like the war horse, isn't it? So you'd think this, this would actually be a little less jittery around the gun noises. I mean, she's been around a Hold lot on. of gun noise. Won't be long to wearing roads. Okay, yeah, we're going to get attacked again. Is this what you want? Dilly, dilly, dilly. Ay, 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 ay. This is Rhodes. You're almost shot of me. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. Good lord. Oh, I still got a bounty on me. No, because we stopped the witness, didn't we? a banging bald head that is in it i mean look at that like a bloody egg fella found this fella on a small holding name's mark johnson you can only run so long son there's your cell you're lucky it's not a grave i was out to buy you wasn't hurting no one maybe you weren't but those partners of yours were a rough bunch That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it, someone else would have. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up with you. Shut we all up. deserve second chances, every one of them. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> yeah, whatever. Right, okay, so let's have a look at the map. God, this game is insane. Just when I, just when I think we, we're sort of on that kind of... You sometimes think, oh, that run out of stuff to throw at you and it's just going to be mission after mission after mission and you suddenly think, no, it's not. Morning, partner. Oh, sorry, way. sorry, I was really pixie. Blame pixie. It's pixie's fault. She was talking about emotes. Finley took his first steps and you missed it. You're at work. No, Radvina. Did Manimal manage to get it on a camera or anything, uh, Advina? Oh, exciting times though, mate. Thank you, Persuade. Thank you very, very much, sir. Thank you ever so much. You'll be yeah, egging him on all night now, Advina. What the hell? Oi. Someone! Anyone! 
isn't he a criminal? Don't come on now. Oh, I, I suddenly realised how this works now. It's when you let go, isn't it? I think I've only just clicked how the lasso works. I think. How come he's not gaming? Hey, hey, think on this. <laughs> how come I can't game? Maybe I don't understand how the out unless it works. What, 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 what? It even says prisoner down the bottom, look. Well, that's got me proper, proper confused, fellas. Proper confused. Yeah. Um. Rare rolling block. <clears throat> Can get some food. We're starving, aren't we? <clears throat> Excuse me. We, we need a nice place hey, to set up easy. camp. These two are part of the mission. What mission? Uh, that is a mission you buffed it by spooking them. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't realise. I thought, I, I thought I'd been all pro then by switching out into my gun and doing that and shooting up in the air to scare them and tell them to stop fighting. I thought one of them was going to kill the other one, you see, so I thought I'll try and interrupt. Oh, you see, I'm getting so good with the controls, you see. Yeah, I have to hold it. I was holding it. Yeah, it, it, it just wasn't working, player. It was, uh, like I said, it must have been part of a mission or something. I said, I've never had any problems lassoing before, but I, what, what I was doing was... I was doing that and then clicking it like almost, I suppose, in a way twice. So I was trying to do that. Look, because you don't have to swing it. Everyone was telling me you have to do this look, but you don't. You don't have to do that at all. Well, if I'm traveling along, I can just go one, two, three, bang. You don't have to do this. So. Easy. Whoa. Sitting in this heap already. Moldering waste that is. They're bad guys. Yep. Got dude there. I thought I saw a dude up top as well. Hmm, there were definitely more than that. I don't think they even know that dude's dead, do they? Got to be something in there. Some sort of a hideout, isn't it? Yeah, there he is, there he is, there he is. Twenty-four Blake Steel. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel, mate. Oh, Damn it! Senseless idiots. That was gorgeous. Come on, got him. That was gorgeous, mate. That was a proper bish, a bash, a bosh. If ever I saw it. 
A little bit of uh, rolling block action, followed up with a nice little bit of... I did have the Lancaster. So how... Oh, what the hell? That Lancaster wasn't there a minute ago, I swear. I do need to get my the re uh, revolver out there. We need to eat. What are we looking like? Yeah, well, that, that's what I'm trying to do now is hunt, mate. I'm very low on actual cooked food. You're right, Cosmos. I love you too, mate. Ah, uh, it's brilliant, Cosmos. Honest, I couldn't ask for more. So sometimes I just get lost in all the set pieces, and today, you know, I've just been just had a slow stroll around. San oh, well, I won't say anything actually. Just I don't know where you are, mate. Sorry, bro. Nearly dropped a little bit of a spoiler there. Would only have been a name of a location, but I'm, I'm trying to be careful. But yeah, it, it, it's just amazing. It, it's such a, a wonderful world to lose yourself in. It's um. Well, one of the things I was most concerned about coming off the back of Red Dead Redemption 1 Cosmos was how they were going to make the world feel busy. But without it, I suppose, feeling contrived. And it's so dense with things to do. Someone old church found it interesting. Not sure why. Oh, no, it is. It is an interesting uh, place. Yeah, they, they've managed to somehow... You know, can keep a really, you know, it's an open world. It's, it's not some sprawling metropolitan, uh, you know, urban city, is it? There's these huge open grasslands and, again, I won't say too much because I don't know where you are, mate. But uh, the, the density of the environments and, you know, the scope and... I suppose diversity of things that there are to do is it's just amazing dude you, you know just little things like this you know i was walking across there then and i just happened to see what what looked like a dude in the distance wearing the old Luwain or whatever they're called Luwain um military outfits which are part of the gang that you know roam this area in straight away but well that's that's going to be interesting yeah i've done a really good job with it yeah, my core is completely gone, isn't it? Um, let's have some biscuits. Couple of hobnobs will sort us out, lads. Did I pick up some dynamite, did I? I, I must have missed that. Actually, I, I must start using the dynamite a little bit more. It's just that, to be honest, I like shooting them in the face. There's something very, very, very rewarding about the combat in this. And, and it's only now I'm starting to feel sort of, sort of reasonably comfortable with it. Uh, horseback combat is, is really where Dead Eye becomes a necessity, I think. But, uh... Oh, good call, actually, Pixie. Thank you. I've been a bugger for that today, haven't I? Yeah, good call. Lot, lots of saves during the last sort of stretch of the, uh, the streams, just in case we suddenly walk ourselves into a complex and lengthy quest uh, hub. Yep. Thanks for that, Eva. Yeah, we're going uh, we're yeah. going to get some food, like you say, Eva. Which is the reason I actually got the rolling block rifle out in the first place. We start making our way towards... So, hang on, what's this? So that is... Yeah, let's start making our way down there then. We still need to go and check out that girl, you know. Who was at the Braithwaite Mansion. Remember the girl that was locked up in the privy? I'd love to go back and see, one, if the tobacco fields are still burnt. <laughs> And two, if the Braithwaite Mansion is burnt to a crisp as well. We must go and do that tomorrow. I'd really like to know. Shady bells just through the trees. I can see it already. You're a brave girl. It's not dead, is it? Whoa! Couple of 
couple of turkeys to take home, look. The top up, what, there was something, oh, there was actually, oh, actually, yeah, there was somebody up on top of the church, because we shot them, didn't we, which made, oh, yeah, good call, which means there may be loot up there, I totally forgot about that, yeah, let's, uh, let's head back, mate, good call, yeah, if he's up there as a sniper, there we go, or as a lookout, then yes, there must be. I, tell you what, I have to say, I'm not saying that it's because I don't want to play this anymore, but I have to say, I am really looking forward to playing some more Assassin's Creed Odyssey at some point. I think I think I must have, uh, I don't know, I was thinking about it yesterday. I must have caught the back end of uh, a forum That's post cool, girl. that was talking about a couple of patches that have hit. But I, didn't get, I, I think I bookmarked it. I've not had a chance to read it properly. I'm yeah. sure that was yesterday. I still haven't seen any of this Ashes of Creation footage yet, either. Slow up now. Where would it have been, guys? Church. Right there. Probably despawn there. Although, having said that, mate, this would be an interesting test to see how long bodies do remain uh, present for, right? I, th I think it's more likely a radial. Uh, a distance despawn, but it is a time despawn. I reckon once you get like X number of meters away from a location, everything just really essentially resets, doesn't it? Easy. Can I not just mark? No. Idiot. Oh, yeah, it's easy to get up there. I think it is, anyway. Yeah, the bodies have all gone. I get up there. Yeah, there's no no lock box. Let's look out of position. It's a shame there's no deer to kill or anything. say pirate rum <laughs> aged pirate rum uh, there's no wildlife out there is there oh well, quite haunting the bell ringing isn't it must be playing this does make me long for something with this amount of detail, generally immersion, etc. But, but something good, with a supernatural girl. vibe. Yeah, there's a girl. So something that you know, it's just got that little element of creepiness to it. And whether or not it be a zombie game, you know, I'm not, I'm not too fussed. But it seems to get a lot of these wonderfully. I know, maybe Assassin's Creed would give me a little bit of that. But I also have to say there is something phenomenally awesome about shooting things in the face with guns. And if, if maybe Days Gone is going to be the one that, that tickles my fancy a little bit. If Days Gone has got the potential to be a really fun game. It's going to have lots and lots of combat, but a mix of stealth. You know, you can drive around on a motorbike, big open world, lots and lots of zombies to kill. It's potentially got, got a lot going for it. You're all right now, girl. I literally just need like a, a deer. Deer or that is that a okay, boat in that then. tree? Check that out. There's a boat stuck up in the uh, sky there. Oh. Oh. That is pretty damn cool. Um, we'll have to get a screen here. Right? Easy. 
easy now. Let's remember to take some more screens in San Benin when we get there tomorrow, especially at night time. Your lucky day, rabbit! Hey up, hey up, hey up, hey up, hey up, hey up, hey up. Oh, hang on. What are you doing? Make sure you stay awake there, Karen. Oh, it's Karen. Hi, Arthur. I didn't, I didn't, honestly, I didn't. I, for a minute, I thought I did, and then I thought, well, no, we're nowhere near camp. Damn, they are, they are keeping a good lookout, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, there's no deer over here. Oh, did anyone tell Zar about what we found? That there's an island that you must go and investigate, Zar. You will be a very happy man. We found wonderful things over there. And, and I didn't kill them, either. Did I, miss a, did I miss a card? What was that? Jesus, there's not a crocodile around, yep. is there? Hey, hey! Oh, Jesus, there was! Holy shit, that thing looks amazing! Holy balls, dude! Oh, I was, I was terrified that I just thought I'd take the shot. That thing looks amazing. Oh, didn't it look re- Oh, wow. That is like the greatest looking croc I've ever seen in the game. That, it just looks amazing. And that's definitely a crocodile, right? Crocs are the flat snouts, yeah? Damn. I knew something was wrong there. Isn't it amazing how you, you know that Bojangles is spooked? Yeah, basically. So I, I can show you where it is if you want, dude. Yeah, it's uh, it's really cool. Really cool place. Sorry, uh, Sojourner. I, I, did, I missed that in chat when I was, uh, I was back at the church. It says all alligator, so actually alligators must be the flat, the flat nose then. Have I got that wrong then? So crocodiles are actually the snub nose. I got it the wrong way around. I always thought crocodiles were the snub nose. Okay, girl. So alligators, flat. Well, that's actually San Denis over there, look. Wow. That's amazing. That's really amazing. Easy. Whoa. All right. So if we go to where are we off to? Uh, well, I really need to set camp, don't I? Oh, there's a coach robbery with Lenny. No way. Oh, we need to go and speak to the dude at the railway stations as well. There's two of them, aren't there? Get that, that, get that secret info. We need to find out where we Still can cook. Here, I guess. Thought you'd have hightailed it by now, to be honest. <laughs> and go where? This is all I got for now. And you all ain't so bad. Abigail, she's as good as they come. No, we've seen crocodiles. No, there's definitely crocodiles. I'm sure of it. Uh, balls. I don't think it's in there, is it? Uh, progress, compendium. 
Animals. So that's the alligator, isn't it? Let's see if we can spot it. Uh, I know. I swear we saw a crocodile. Isn't that isn't that the whole point of what we had the discussion about? So hang on, they all alligators here then. Oh right, okay. Well, I'll, I'll take that back then. I thought that's why we had the discussion around it. There's the snapping turtle. Oh well, I take that back then. So basically, everything in this game is is an alligator, is it? Huh, that's weird. That's really strange. I, I don't know what the hell spot that conversation. Though. So there's no crocs there at all. Arthur Morgan. You okay? It's actually, the, I think that's the first time I've actually seen the stew uh, available. Arthur. Ah, bloody time, Pearson. I think I'll get my dead eye refilled as well now. So you do get crocodiles as well. Very rare on the tip of Florida. About 2,000 left. Wow. So, but, yeah. But mainly, mainly alligators though, yeah. That's really strange. Because we were talking about, and I, I'm sure it's because we saw a crocodile. Did, did we not have like a, was it a legendary crocodile or something? That's, that's, that's completely bizarre. Where would we cook? It's not going to be that one, is it? Because that's the main fire. There it is. It's got to be that one over there, isn't it? He likes his stew, don't you, mate? Likes picking bits of it out of his uh, mustachio later. He's such a tramp dropping it on the floor like that. Are we going to be living off uh, alligator meat? Plain big game. That's what we want. Lovely jabbly. I think I'll have, a, I'll, I'll have a little nibble of it just to taste it. It's gorgeous, mate. It's gorgeous. I'd love to try crocodile. I wonder if there's any actual difference between crocodile and alligator meat, like at all. I wonder if you could even tell the difference. Yes, you can get, is it right that you can get, uh, I mean, is there any difference between alligators and crocodiles in terms of fresh water and salt water as well? Like, can, can you have what one of them can be full, salt water and fresh water uh, variants and one can't? Or, or is it is it not that simple? I know very little about alligators and crocodiles. Uh, alligators, crocodiles and sharks. Basically, some of like the oldest animals remaining in, in terms of evolution. I know sharks are, aren't they? Gators. So all alligators are freshwater. So there's no such thing as a saltwater alligator. Is that right? So crocs are both alligators. Are right. I, th I thought there was something like that. Okay. Okay. So uh, alligators. But basically, there's very few crocodiles, if any at all, really in America. And alligators are always freshwater. Crocodiles, we tend to get easy to remember. Crocodile Dundee, prominent in Australia, and you can get freshwater and saltwater variants. Or is it a case of a crocodile can actually survive in saltwater and freshwater? I mean, can you can you take a, a salt water crocodile and throw it in a freshwater lake and it will just be fine? I mean, it, it's not like it's uh, it's not like it's got gills or anything, is it? That w would it would it adapt? Fascinating stuff, actually. 
Horseshoe crabs and roaches. Are they other ones to include in that? So horseshoes, roaches, alligators, crocodiles, sharks. They, these are all like, you know, so some of the... Uh, the long-standing evolutionary species. Been around for a long, long time without any major changes in their... Uh, physiology, for example. Add herbs, it gives better stats. No way. Really? Ah, oh, shit. I don't think I, I think I've cooked everything now, mate. I think someone suggested this yesterday, actually, but I totally forgot about it. Any herbs or... Ah, oh, shit, you've got me wondering. I, I want to go and try that now. Uh, craft or cook. How do I do that? How do I... Oh, go through recipes. Look, ah, interesting. I haven't got anything. Ah, that, that must be how I got the minty game. Oh, it makes a big difference that you can actually see. So that, that for example, is like gives a really nice boost to stamina. If we go for the oregano, look. Huh. It's not a massive difference, though, to be fair. It's not a huge difference, is it? Um, we better cook all this up, actually. Oh, hang on, I've just lost a paddle off my Xbox Elite controller. Oi! Cool stuff. Thanks for that, uh, Sadie. So the saltwater croc will actually shy away from freshwater or stagnant water, but due to overpopulation, they are spreading into freshwater areas where they have not been for decades. Oh, God. So everything's changing anyway. Being forced out of their natural habitats. How come they're overpopulated? Are they not hunted anymore? I mean, they've, they've presumably got no natural predators, right? It's just no longer a thing to hunt them in, a, in, in Australia. They used to be cold. Uh, and so uh, are they not now then, no? I wonder if there's any difference between cooking it and sort of thrusting it into the fire like that to cook it faster. Does it does it give any different? You know, does it make it a little less? You get quite a lot of um, experience points for cooking, don't you? So there's a ban on hunting them in Australia. So I don't get that then. So you're not allowed to kill them. There's a ban on hunting them. But they're being forced out of their natural habitats because of overpopulation. That, that seems a bit strange, doesn't it? So how about you, Mr. Trelawney? Where are you from? The moons of Jupiter, dear boy. The moons of because you don't worry about shooting kangaroos in the face, do you, over there? That kind of nonsense might amuse folk at a children's birthday party. But really. I'm saying Irish. No. Scots. Cornwall, dear boy. I didn't know that. Where That's actually pretty cool. The real original. So a bull shark can survive in from. freshwater and saltwater. That's crazy. Trolls. Just like you that live under the bridges where fire spews out of the marshes. What's it like there? I have no idea. I've never been. But it sounds wonderful. Well, I'm from Ohio. And I have been there. And it could use more trolls. <laughs> so I've heard. So I've heard. Howdy, fellas. Evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Jonathan speaks my good friend, Karen. I like Karen. Karen. Everything okay? My guess. Bored. Well, we need to get you out on another job again soon. Okay. 
Hmm. Obviously didn't want to... She didn't want to chinwag, did she? No chinwags for Mr. Grunny. Uh, where's both jangles gone? All right, let's have a look at the map then. So we still have... So we've got Hosea, Mary Beth, who we've never done anything with. We've got a letter over here, which I'm going to check. That's a letter for me. Coach robbery with Lenny. Uh, we've got some more debt collection with Leopold, which I must admit, I do really enjoy those. We can get back to Brother Dawkins and Charles Chatonet investigating the commotion. Don't remember that one. It's obviously the, uh, the dude who drew, uh, well, the, the, the naked lady picture. Go and check out the letter. It would, oh, it could be from Mary Linton, couldn't it? Mary Linton. Hmm. Kangaroos murdered dogs by drowning them. How the hell do they manage that? That, that sounds that. Whoa! What? What? The, how? How would a kangaroo? How the hell does a kangaroo drown a dog? Is that, is that for real? Like a, a kangaroo will somehow drown? How? It's not like it can pick it up and hold it under the water, right? That's 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 crazy, dude. The more I hear about kangaroos, the more, the more I, I, I sort of get the impression they're actually really horrible animals. <laughs> I don't think I've ever met an Australian that's got very many nice things to say about kangaroos, to be quite honest with you. Isaiah and Bessie. Have you seen that before? Can I put my uh, light on or anything? Very dark in here. It's almost like there's a light source that I can't get to stay on, look. Oh, I see, Razor. All right, so I've got to weigh up the pros and cons of what that actually means. Wow, complicated stuff, right? Um. 1877. Criminals escaped from jail. Two criminals escaped from prison in Kettering, Ohio in broad daylight yesterday. Dutch van der Linden and Hosea Matthews were arrested after a string of confidence tricks in the town over the past few weeks. The men who had been posing as international merchants duped 12 local men and women out of approximately £300 of shares in a fictitious Portuguese shipping company. It is not yet known how they escaped. Sheriff Carmichael, who was, was found bound and naked in their jail cell, is refusing to comment other than to say he's extremely embarrassed. These two men are still at large, and anybody with information to their whereabouts is urged to contact the authorities immediately. Is that that's not the note though, is it? Or is it? That light thing's really strange. Um Maybe that is it. it to me it looks like it's behind me though. Oh, is it upstairs? It's upstairs. Little arrow flashing upstairs, look. What a weird, spooky house. They actually put the dog in a headlock and hold it underwater for real. Holy balls. Uh, and why do they do that? I mean, why, why would a kangaroo do that? I mean, a kangaroo isn't going to go out of its way on a Saturday afternoon, is it? And think, what shall I do today? Uh, I don't fancy a game of dominoes. I'm going to go and find a dog and drown it. What well, I mean, is, is this something that happened like once? Or, or is it, it just, it just sounds like so bizarre. Um, we've got 3,934. I'll tell you what we will do. 
soon as we've got some camp funds, let's go and get everything restocked because we might not be back here for a little bit. Bloody kangaroos, mate. Who'd have bloody thought it? Show me the money! Bender! Five dollar donation received from Bender Unitger. Thanks for the tips on controller usage. Managed to escape the tutorial. Smiley face. Nice one, bro. We were talking about you earlier, mate. We did wonder how you were getting on. Congrats, dude. Congrats. Yeah, and, and now you'll be away from that, you, you know, what I should imagine was an extremely frustrating part, um, Bender. Thank you very much, mate. Th thank you very much. Obviously, uh, appreciate the five bucks, mate. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah, hopefully you're now in the game, so you can now take your time with it a little bit, Bender, uh, without having to be stuck on what I should imagine was quite a lengthy loading loop. So, yeah, um, I'm, I'm glad you fixed it. I'd, I'd hate to see you miss out on a cracking game because of... Uh, a, a bit of an oopsie daisy at the start. GZ dude, well done. Nice to see someone persevere with it as well, mate. If uh, if you're new to using a controller, mate, it's not easy, is it, dude? It's I mean I, I do get that. I use a controller every single day, and uh, they're not easy, mate. They're not easy at all. Well done, and thank you for the five smack arenas as well, mate. If you got if you want any uh, if you want us to like do anything on stream or anything, Bender, like like tomorrow or something, uh, just shout out, mate. Because yeah, I learned a lot about uh, combat first, um, well, the second stream, really. I don't think there's anything else we can do around here, is there? That, that note is still annoying the shit out of me. Fatherhood and other dreams. Shady Bell. Bayou. Has anyone got any idea where that is? It's... Let's go and have one more look for it. Really? That's an awful thing? I, I can't imagine. I, I, that's just horrendous, the thought of a, a, a kangaroo drowning. Um, hey, drowning a, uh, a dog. I, I, can't even, I can't even imagine the thought of a dog drowning. That sounds awful. That alone being held under the water forcibly by a bloody, uh, bloody kangaroo, mate. Is it in there? I was in the wrong bloody room, wasn't I? God, what a total dickhead. That's where the cloak... Ah, right, okay. See, it's just much more spread out, isn't it, than the previous camps. That is actually a legit map, isn't it? My dear Arthur. Oh, it is. It's Mary. I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you. Even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Mary is playing and harping away merrily on his heartstrings. Oh, she's a she's a cheeky woman. It's, it's the only time I've seen um Arthur really. Trim, facial hair, all facial, oh, chin. The current length is too short. Okay, we'll leave it. Yeah, it's the only time I've, I've really seen Arthur not not really show a weak side. I mean, that would be the wrong thing to say, but show an interest in anything outside of the Vandalin gang, I guess is what I'm getting at. 
Um, he obviously whatever his relationship with Mary Linton is is a long, long-standing one. Um, it sounds like she does have quite a lot of control over him. At the very least, you know, if she if she if she sends him a letter, come and meet me. Arthur's going to go and meet her, right? And he will do pretty much anything for her. It, and like I said, it seems to be his only interest outside of the bundling game. Everything else is the gang, the gang, the gang, the gang, isn't it? There she is. Hey. <laughs> She's always sozzled. She's always got a bottle of beer. Not enough. <laughs> no, don't blame you, girl. Why not, right? Saturday. Have as many as you want. Nice T-bone steak later. Lovely jubbly. Google Roger the Kangaroo. I just wonder what you're saying, McGlashan, about um, once they reach over a certain size and they relocate. Them. That's crazy, mate. And I can't believe that. That's mad persuade. Raccoons killing dogs. Gee, I tell you what, it, it ain't an easy life being a dog, but between raccoons and kangaroos trying to drown them and Xeranthians shooting them in the face, but being a dog's uh, a tricky game in this world, isn't it? She does. She's, she's twanging his dilly dilly. <laughs> Runs around the room weeping. This is where no one asked Dot why he's running around the room weeping, and then he's going to have to tell us anyway. He used to rape her. He used to what? She was set free at the end of the war. He used to he rape her. Again, and she killed him with a knife. Come on, Dot. Her, Spill the beans. She ran away, and my mama never saw her again. That's the reverend again in the distance, isn't it? Hammered. There's definitely a, an underlying concern with alcohol abuse in this camp. Just, just saying. It'd be really nice to get a screenshot of the camp, actually. I think I've got one here. That'd be a really nice one, wouldn't it, if we can get that? There you go. Perfect. Uh, Red Abyss, thank you for the follow, mate. Appreciate it, bro. Charles. Is Roger a famous kangaroo, is he? <laughs> the, the only kangaroo thing that I can think of is the one where... Um, the, was it the boxing one? I can't remember. No, no, I'll tell you what. It, it's actually, you know, that was a dog. There was uh, a dog being quite viciously attacked by... I mean, I, I, I don't know whether the kangaroo was defending itself, so I probably shouldn't say that. But there was a there was a YouTube thing or a, an internet, you know, viral thing going on where there was a dog being quite badly attacked by a kangaroo, and obviously the dog's owner ran up to the kangaroo and just literally smacked it one like a proper right or right, <laughs> right, just proper protecting the dog, just completely decked the kangaroo. I thought oh, that's kind of you know kind of nice of the dog owner to do that. And then there's the other one where there's the kangaroo sort of like just kicking the crap out of somebody. Um, Not really so it's sure. a, a bit different, really. Uh, thank you for that, Red Abyss. Right, boys and girls, I'm afraid it is that time. Uh, we've had a good look around the camp. That actually worked out quite nice because it meant we had a little, little uh, poke around the new camp, which is only set up today. Chapter 4 start, really. So we've got a good place to continue our tale tomorrow so i'm gonna love you and leave you all there thank you all very much for joining me throughout today it's been an absolute pleasure as always we will of course be back on bright and early tomorrow morning on sunday we'll be on a little bit earlier than today i, I, I literally managed to race in i did say I, the unlikely would be on much before eight and lo and behold we, we started at almost bang on eight o'clock today i'll try and start a little bit earlier tomorrow if we can so, certainly by seven o'clock if uh, if all goes well so i'm more red dead redemption too Thank you for watching. Please come and join us on Discord. Exclamation mark Discord in chat will get you linked to our Discord server. You're more than welcome over there. I will try and get all the posting permissions sorted before I have to head out shortly. And exclamation mark Twitter will get you a link to our Twitter feed. I always tweet out a few minutes before the daily adventures begin. We are currently streaming seven days a week playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Um... Oh, you got it. I was just waiting to see that, Doc. You might have got your file sorting nailed for F, man. I, was, I was, wasn't sure whether you'd give it up for a few days, to be honest, mate. Well done. Congrats. I should imagine that's been quite a, quite a stressful uh, project. I, I hope it moves forward now, mate. Well done. Um, exclamation mark YouTube. 
if you would kindly throw a subscription over there that would be absolutely fantastic and a massive thank you for the support today big up to the grumbodian lurkers ever present always lurking you never forgotten thank you all very much and obviously to everybody that has also participated in chat throughout today thank you for keeping it spoiler free and good fun for me do appreciate it and thank you for the subs the resubs the bits the follows the donations thank you very very much indeed to uh persuade and bender today and for the gifted subs as well i hope you all have an absolutely fantastic saturday stay safe Thank you very much for watching and I shall see some of you bright and early tomorrow morning. Thank you.